Hey, you kids play nice together, all right? I'm not a lousy parent, am I? Even if you do bully each other real bad, it's not because I'm a bad dad, right? Oh, yeah, you're a bad dad. You're a deadbeat. You're a deadbeat dad. Terrible, not there, went to go get some milk, never came back dead, okay? Because we ain't never see these kids till now. What's going on, everybody? My name is Jess Guns. Bang, bang, gang, gang. Let's get back into this game. Bang and Rumpa V3 Killing Harmony. So, we have done our first class trial, okay? <laughs> I was the killer, okay? Um, I didn't know that. And then, Monadam killed Mona Kid, which I thought was gonna happen. So, I just had to laugh, so I'm so sorry. But before I dive on in, make sure if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave a like for your girl from the social media, all the good stuff, and let's begin. They were so young and talented. Oh. How could this happen? It looked like an accident. They were running away from that brew. Oh my goodness. Was it really just an accident, though? I honestly can't believe that. Oh, well. I can't say it too loudly. But they were probably killed by that group. That group? I thought so. That group? Who? Oh no. Well, there's nothing we can do about that. What I wanted group? them to live. For our sake at least. Jeez. I wish they lived. No. They should have lived. They had to. For this world. Huh. And it's showing her like photo okay never mind i'm not gonna get too deep in it a thin line divides heaven and hell Ooh. okay <laughs> where are you hiding come out no more hiding come out now huh hey! oh is that gonta hey come out bugs where are you all hiding just went gone to think he found some they gone <laughs> weird really weird plenty trees grass water sun no, no bugs. Why? Weird. So hey, weird. Bugs. If any bugs here, come out. Gonta want to talk to you. <laughs> Gonta's so cute, okay? And I'm sorry, Gonta, for thinking that you were, you know, the killer at one point. But we proved that it wasn't you, so it's okay. Huh? Oh? What that? Something on ground and grass. Words written on it? Oh? What is it? Horse A? Horse A? A, ho a horse? Horse A? What does that mean? Oh? Oh? Uh-oh. What's going on? Uh. Oh! Oh, I'm playing the Shuichi now, I forgot! <laughs> Who is it? Wait, I'm coming, I'm coming! With the doorbell hurrying me along, I went to open the door. Ooh! Oh! Well, that used right. to be Bay, but now, now I'm Sherlock Shuichi, so this is not, this is not Shuichi's Bay, so. I can't call him Bay no more, so I got I gotta call him by his name, Kaito. So. Hey Kaito. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? It's already morning. Huh? Kaito. Okay, before we do that, let's go get this elephant in the room, which is this monokuma, okay? Because I see it. No, not the bed. I want I want that. I want that thing. Search the shell. Let's let's get that. Let's get that hidden monokuma. Uh-huh. Yep, I see you. Just sitting there chilling. You just sitting there chilling. What's up? Why do they sit here for so long before they do anything? What? What do we do? Can I? Oh wait, that's the one I found. Oh, never mind. I thought this was like another one. I thought this was another one that I had to get. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Hi. <laughs> uh, um, do you need something? Come on, man. Well, yeah, food. Jeez. I was gonna eat breakfast with everyone in the dining hall, but you weren't there. That's why I came to get huh? you. But I didn't recall making any plans. I mean, you should be at the dining hall anyway. I mean, where else are you gonna eat breakfast? Hey. I don't usually eat breakfast, huh? so. Are you serious? If you don't have breakfast, then what do you eat in the morning? Huh? Um, right. whatever, let's get going. The others are uh. waiting. Wait, I'm not ready, let me get one. <laughs> Actually, never mind. I don't need that anymore. Okay. What? I said, let's uh. go. Oh, right, I was gonna tell you. My bad. I'm sorry about yesterday, you know, for slugging you like that. Oh yeah, you did. He did, he did kind of punch him like, <laughs> Kinda hard. <laughs> huh? Huh? Oh, that is okay. I see. I see. Then let's go. Hmm. What is Shuichi not need anymore? All right, everyone's here. I'm so sorry, Ryoma. <laughs> hmm. Right? Honest. Yeah, like someone tried to hide writing in grass. Weird, right? Uh... Hmm. Atua says it's just graffiti. <laughs> <laughs> now we don't gotta worry about it anymore. <laughs> She's just so funny to me. 
And Tua, that's even more suspicious. My, my. Oh, are you saying a Tua is suspicious? How sad. Yeah. That's none of your business. Jeez. What's up with you guys? Are you still talking about that graffiti? You know. Whatever. I've watched Yuichi, so let's start breakfast already. I quickly realized that everyone was staring at me. Yeah. What? What are you looking at? As I expected, they were looking at me with surprise in their faces. Good morning. Oh, he doesn't have his hat anymore. Oh my God. I feel so proud of him. He's, he's carrying on the wish of Kaede when she was like, you know, be more confident and stuff. So I guess that's what he meant when he said he didn't need that anymore, which was his hat. So that's cool. Uh, good, good morning. Oh, Shuichi. Um, mm. You finally got rid of that emo hat. Is this because Kaede died or whatever? Oh, why is he going to say nailed. it like that? Learn some manners, why don't you? Oh, huh. You're not wearing your hat. I didn't even notice. <laughs> and you can stand to learn some manners too, you insensitive jerk. <laughs> no, I just felt like it was getting in the way, is all. Aww. I'm so glad that he's finally showing his beautiful face. Uh, um, you don't have to stare. I just took off my hat. It's not a big deal. Correct. You are right. My apologies. I... I like it. I think you look more handsome with your hat thank on. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> How nice for you. Unlike plain Jane over here who turns invisible as soon as her glasses come off. I am plain, but it's like the other way around. Taking off my glasses reveals my true form. <laughs> Didn't you know? Those who see my true form pay a terrible price. Oh, Listen Lord. up. Anyway, <laughs> don't be late anymore, Shuichi. We already decided we're eating breakfast together. This is stupid. You decided that on your yes, own. Yes, of course. <laughs> yes, yes. I prepared breakfast for everyone. Huh? Oh, really? You did? That is correct. Indeed, it was no trouble at all. I bet it's a feast, too. I bet it's a whole spread, because she can do everything. I prepared an Italian omelet, buttermilk pancakes, smoked salmon galette, and for those who prefer Japanese cuisine, I prepared rice balls and miso hey. soup. Here with me, be my mom. <laughs> right, like, she's, she's just perfect. <laughs> Gonto want you to be his mom, too. What are you two even oh, saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll show you guys something really neat. Look, look, when Himiko eats, she makes the cutest face. Oh, she's like a small animal. Stop it. Stop it. You're making it hard for me to eat. <laughs> okay, it's, it's good that they're all in, like, better spirits, I guess. We chatted casually as we began eating the food Kirimi brought out. I wish we could have seen it. I wish Amazing. we could have seen the food. Go to not mean to flatter, but all this food's so Excellent. yummy. Excellent. It's so delicious. It makes me want to cut off my tongue. What? Okay. <laughs> The rice balls aren't just ordinary old rice balls either. The outside is packed tightly so it won't fall apart, but the inside is nice and soft. And because the rice wasn't crushed, you can taste every sweet sticky grain, even when it's cold. Jeez. Hey, do you have some sort of god tongue or something? May I? No, by not crushing the rice, air is able to flow between each individual grain. The triangle shape itself is less important than maintaining the loose grip as you form the shape. You will find it much easier if you imagine yourself gripping it with your entire body. Mm -hmm. I can't make rice balls. I can't even tell the difference between rice and termites. Girl, that's an issue. Okay, you out here eating bugs. Just, just unprovoked. <laughs> like, <laughs> hey. How have you survived this long? <laughs> oh? Hmm, what's wrong, Keyboy? You're not eating? Oh, I see. Oh, I, I totally forgot you can't eat, you know, because you're a robot, see? When he asked that question, I knew he was on something. Like, like leave him alone. What is up with him and robots? Hey. Hey, now, don't look so down. I'll bring you a broken TV later. You know what? Kibo was going to kill Kokichi the way Monadam killed Monokid, okay? Keep poking at him, Kokichi. Keep poking at this robot, and he is going to get your ass. He is going to get you. Just wait. Just wait. I don't want that. I'm not a waste receptor. <laughs> Kibo and Kokichi seem to be getting along swimmingly. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't, baby. <laughs> We were having a normal conversation as if nothing had happened, but we all knew it wasn't really normal. It was forced conversation. Yeah, but that's to be expected. That incident that just happened yesterday, after all. Everyone's forcing themselves. That's why. Oh, this kind of forced normalcy is just making us remember what happened. Mm. Huh? What's the matter, Shuichi? If you're not going to eat this, I'll just help myself. Oh. Oh, sorry, I was gonna eat that. I pushed my, those unnecessary thoughts out of my head and shoved food in my By mouth. The By the way, that thing Gunter talked about earlier, are we gonna check it out? <laughs> Quit virgin. busting over some lousy graffiti and worry about your shitty future instead. Jesus. Huh? huh? Graffiti? Um, oh, Gunter find it this morning. Hey. Horse on concrete hidden in grass. Words, horse A, written here. Hmm. What do you think it is? 
Well, its meaning is entirely shrouded in mystery. Not even the ultimate anthropologist knows. I thought it was some anthropology thing. Yo. Well, how about it, Shuichi? Let's hear the ultimate detective's opinion. Huh? Huh? I don't know. I don't know either. Gonta, I'm surprised you were able to find that graffiti hidden in the grass. Feeling Do divine? you channel the divine no. too? Oh, that's because of tiny bugs. Mm -hmm. Bugs? I thought vermin were nowhere to be seen in this academy. Um, yeah, Gonta think that before, but what? when out walking in the courtyard, Gonta think he see tiny bugs. Mm -hmm. But bugs so tiny, even Gonta couldn't know, no could see it. <laughs> and Gonta had 20 slash 0.625 eyes like it. Oh. I don't know if that means near or far sighted because like I have 20, 20 vision, so I don't need glasses. So I don't know like which side of the parent of that little slash means what. Like I don't know. <laughs> so maybe going to just make mistake, but going to think. Maybe. No, maybe going to just see things. Degenerate man. Just make up your mind already, you degenerate. <laughs> so you found that message while you were out chasing some bug. Oh. Wow, going to you did it. I knew I could rely on you since the moment we met. Huh? Hmm. What really? It's true. Yep, you should work for me. Got it. Okay. What? What? You're just gonna agree? Just like that? Right. Be careful, Gonta. That guy's a real liar. What, really? No way. Thank goodness. Good, then Gonta have no reason to worry. Gonta, you are so gullible. Okay, you're so sweet that it's making you gullible and oblivious to something. Huh? Will you believe just anyone? <laughs> Gonta, you're so gullible. You know, if you keep being this gullible, you'll be killed before you know it, understand? Uh -huh. Oh! The moment Kokichi said that word, the warm and casual mood shattered. Of course it would. Of course this nice warm feeling would get ruined by Kokichi. Of course it would. What's the matter? What's wrong, everyone? Is there a problem with Kokichi's advice? <sighs> oh, Kokichi, you should know, you know should say thing like that, even as a joke. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Say what, kill? Has the K word been banned? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know. <laughs> but that's not very reasonable, is it? Not when the killing game is still happening. Mm -hmm. How can you be so insensitive, especially after what happened yesterday? I'm this running. is why I hate degenerate males. They're about as considerate as amoebas. Hey. Don't complain if some scary guy yells, what color is your blood, you at really you. Don't. It's that kind of talk that lets Monokuma play you all like fiddles. Huh? What? Oh? Oh, did you hear that? Don't mind me, I was just talking to myself. Oh, he's a bitch, yeah, but he has a point a little bit. But he don't have to have an attitude. Hello, looks like you guys are having a good time. Let me join in. Yeah. Yeah, they're having a jolly good time ganging up on me. Isn't that your fault? Hmm, ganging up. No bullying. Bullying is not cool. Bullying is worse. Personally, I think bullying is because of lousy parenting. It's all the parents' fault. They should do a better job raising their kids. Okay, so what about you, Monokuma? Because when your Mona kid was bullying Mona Dam, Mona kid got murked. Okay, he got murked because of it. So how about you watch your kids, huh? Huh? Why are you even here? Yeah. I figured I'd give you guys a prize for surviving the class trial. Huh? A prize? Oh, well, it's it's a motivation. Here, here we go. All right. Yeah, it's on four, y'all. Now, y'all one day. <laughs> um, the reward, right? We bought it. Yep. So I'll just give it to you then. Huh? My kids seem a little under the weather. Well, even so, they're still freaking adorable. Did you forget it? Are you being bullied? Huh? Oh, she is. <laughs> Huh? That's um. I knew it. I knew it. I understand from experience. Huh? From experience, Himiko, were you a victim of bullying in the past? Is that why your heart is broken and you can't express real emotions anymore? You're the worst of the worst. Use your magic to turn the human rejects who bullied you into misshapen wretches. Stop it. I don't use my magical stuff like that, and don't just make up my backstory. <laughs> huh? Huh? Hold on. The Monocubs bully each other? What? Oh, no way. The Monocubs should always get along. My hey, you kids play nice together, all right? I'm not a lousy parent, am I? Even if you do bully each other real bad, it's not because I'm a bad dad, right? Oh yeah, you're a bad dad. You're a deadbeat. You're a deadbeat dad. Terrible, not there, went to go get some milk, never came back dead. Okay, because we ain't never see these kids till now. Jeez. We are all friends. We all get along always. <laughs> oh yes we do. Don't tell me that Monadam is bullying them now. Don't tell me that Monadam is getting them now. <laughs> Right. See, my children are good kids. They would never bully each other. The bullying would never stop because of people like you. Oh, well. Well, I think the threatening vibe we Mana Cubs give off is perfect. That's because that's we're a team of scary badasses who are going to drag you down to hell. <laughs> Such adorable little badass. Got it. Anyway, we're going to hand out the rewards you've all been waiting for. So, what is this? What the hell is that? Listen up. Because we got these here fabulous, nonsensical prizes for you. What is a it? A dragon gem, an ocarina, an ancient passport, and a hexagonal crank from uh, some zombie game. <gasps> oh, 
Oh, is that like uh, from Resident Evil? Hold on. Is that a Resident Evil? Um, is that a Resident Evil reference? <laughs> and it's the Ocarina one from um, Zelda. And I don't know where the ancient passport is from or the dragon gem. Is dragon gem from Dragon Ball? Like, like they can't call it a Dragon Ball, but they call it a dragon gem. Is that from Dragon Ball Z? Like, okay, whatever. <laughs> These prizes all come in a bundle. Huh. Wow, what a bunch of random junk. Bravo! Bravo! Yay! Mm -hmm. I don't get why these are prizes, but aren't they lovely anyway? <laughs> I'm honestly I'm not saying nothing. <laughs> what? What's all this crap? What are we supposed to do with to this? Tell you the honestly, truth. I'm not sure. Maybe there's a way to use them without knowing what they're for. Who cares? Just put your best foot forward. It's easier to move forward than backward. How nice. No. Don't get inspired by him. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's the situation. So just do your best however you please. Hmm. We... Let's go. <laughs> You're gonna get payback for all the bullying by attacking us in our secret weak point. Secret weak point? You mean the nape of our neck? <gasps> oh, it's like Attack on Titan? <laughs> so not that, anything but that. Actually, Wait, so the nape of your neck is your weak point? I would never do that. I just want to get along. Yeah. <laughs> What? Get along, really? You stupid. Don't let him fool you. He killed Monica, remember? <laughs> so long. They all scared of Monica them now. <laughs> Seeing that robot looking one get left out makes me think of Kiva. Huh? Am I really excluded? Huh? So what should we do with this Maybe. jump? Maybe we need to use these on those mysterious things all over the campus. And what'll happen when we do? Um, I'm not sure. Well, we'll know once we try. I'll take the jump then. No, let's leave this to Shuichi. Huh? What, me? Hey. You're the ultimate detective, yeah? You should be good at weirdo puzzles like this. Got it. So I'm gonna leave it to you. Uh, okay. Okay, I'll try. Yeah. Man, whatevs, I guess that's fine. So I need to go around the academy and figure out what these mysterious objects are for. All right, let's get going. Hmm. So I need to like place them different places and see what works. Is that it? I don't know. I don't know how I go about this. Okay, so where should I go first? I don't know. Oh wait, oh wait, I gotta put this here. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, I know where, okay. Okay, so I gotta put these in the places that I was asking questions at before. The wall came down? Ah. What, it, it was it because of my magic? No. no, I used an item on this it's object magic. and it was my magic. Whatever you, whatever you think, girl, go ahead. Whatever floats your boat. Uh, um. Okay, sure. So, where am I, where is this heading? What, they got a magic room? This door is different from the others. It might be an ultimate research lab. From the look of it, I guess it's the ultimate magician's lab. Oh, so this is the little girl's lab. Hmm. Okay, this is kind of nice. That's true. As I suspected, it's full of stuff related to magic tricks. Mm -hmm. Whose research lab is this? If it's supposed to be mine, then there should be magical hey. items, right? Uh, um. Right, why are you asking me? <laughs> right, like, um, aren't you the magician? Let's talk to you. They mix up my magic trick and real magic, but this is a pretty thorough collection. Hey. It seems like there are labs for everyone, but why prepare so many? What is this place? Um. Monokuma said that this ultimate academy for gifted juveniles is made for the 16 of us. Is that really true? Mm. Hey, the dorms in his dorms have locks, but this research lab okay. doesn't. Ah, it looks like they are not private. Are you okay? Are you okay with that, Himiko? Your magic tricks might get stolen. Mm. You need skills to perform magic tricks. Knowing how they work isn't it's enough. Magic. But I use real magic, not magic tricks. She's not going to budge an inch on that point. She's like, look, you need skill, okay? I don't need a little book to say what trick this is and they know it, okay? They gotta have the skill to do it. To think there was a room like this beyond that wall, I wonder why they went out of their way to hide it, though. Miyu and Kaede's some research labs were open from You're the start. Right. That's right. Sorry. Oh, sorry, it's probably better to not bring up Kaede just yet, no. huh? No, it's fine, I'm okay. I see, I see. What is, that's a relief. I was just plain worried. Um. I don't know how just yet, but like Kaede said, Let's survive and escape this place no matter what. Oh, she's so sweet. I love her. All right, let's let's look at. Hold on. Let's let's, let's do this. Okay, let's look at that. So we have a big cage. Hey, Himiko, what kind of magic trick do you use the cage for? It's not a trick. I'm telling you, it's real magic. Oh, sorry, I forgot about that. I use that for a number of spells. It's also good for carrying my familiar. So, oh, like her little like. It's not a spirit animal, but it's like a. A partner, you know? I see. 
Oh, you mean that trick where a dove comes out of your hat? Or you mean a magical animal? Mm. Yeah, that's right, but my familiar isn't a dove, it's a tiger cub. What? A tiger cub? What is this? It must be so cute, I'm jealous of you, being able to pet something fluffy like that whenever. I'll admit, even I'm kind of jealous. Right, I want a little cub. I want a little, a little cub. Um, what is this? That's the magic trick where the person in the box is stabbed by swords but comes out no. fine. It's not a trick, that's one of the space type spells. Huh? Space type? Oh, that sounds like high ranking that's magic. Right. Exactly. You need a lot of skill for space type spells. No average mage can handle it. Uh, mm -hmm. So in other words, you couldn't just be a mage, you have to be a sage. You need the words of wisdom for that. Sumigi was somehow able to follow all of that. Okay, okay, so we got that. We got something that's gonna chop somebody's head off, maybe? I'm gonna, I'm, is this is gonna be used for magic too? I've seen it in a magic show. Hmm. Okay, and they got a cauldron for witches. Uh, um. What is this? It's a huge cauldron, like one a witch would be stirring in a children's yeah. book. Don't go touching whatever you want. That pot is collecting uh. mana. Oh, mana. Mm. Don't you know it's a necessary energy source for magic? I oh, I see. You mean like either or life force? Mm. Hmm, the names are different depending on the school of magic, but I call it mana. This place is filled with mana. It's perfect mm. for me. Is that so? Ah, huh. I like that they're using these names and terminology. I like it. This is a guillotine, right? I know it's just for a magic trick, but it still kind of creeps me out. Yeah, I'm gonna get caught in that and then saw somebody in half. Okay, what a huge saw. This room can't be locked, so we don't just have to worry about the tricks being stolen. Sumigi didn't finish her sentence, but I knew what she wanted to say. It's not that I'm thinking the killings are gonna happen again, but, okay. right. I can really feel it now, just how bizarre the situation is. I mean, this room is quite filled up with a lot of possible killing machines. Like, so what is that? You could drown somebody in there too. It's a huge water tank. I wonder if this is for a magic trick too. Or to drown someone later. Okay, so we are going to get out of here. Yes, let's leave out of here. We got a lot of weapons in there, so we're gonna remember that. Oh, here we go. Okay, so let's put the dragon gem. Oh, what does this do? Ooh. Is Shenron gonna come out? <laughs> Part of the wall is gone. Oh. Whoa, that's so cool. We can get past this wall now. All right then. Okay, so oh. let's go. Wait, charge again is dangerous. Gonta, don't follow him. Um. Oh, hear me, what's yeah. wrong? Nothing, I just feel a stagnant air come drifting from this damaged wall. As if no one has set foot beyond this point for quite some time. Huh? Nobody's been here for a long time? Exactly how long is a long time? Hmm. So what was this? Was this part of the, was this not part of the school or are they built around it or something? I don't know. Okay, so let's, let's go. What the hell is this? I'm gonna look at this door. This must be an ultimate research All right. lab. All right, let's go inside. Wait, is this Kirami's? Because I saw a little like maid doily on the outside. Oh, is this Kirami's? Hmm. This room gives off an antique vibe. Yeah, this is hers. It seems as this is, these are Victorian. These decorations adorn the British Empire at the peak of Queen Victoria's reign. Mm. This must be my research lab. During the Victorian era, employing a maid was considered a status symbol. I remember correctly. Speaking of Victorian era, era, Jack the Ripper was from that time, that right? Correct. Ever the detective, I see. Hmm. So this is the ultimate maze lab. It does seem to be perfectly suited for Kirami. This looks kind of nice. I'm not even gonna lie. So let's look at it. Okay, hold on. Let's look at, okay, this is the table. This is the dining table. Hmm, there's a doll at the dining table. Perhaps a family dinner? Mm -hmm. This is my research lab, and I presume these figures represent those I must serve. Huh, those you must serve? What's the, what you mean? What you mean those you must serve? I don't know, I don't know. Oh wait, what's that? That's a door, that's a closet? I wonder if there's a bunch of maid uniforms in this closet. Hmm, oh. Oh, laundry. Instead, there were a bunch of laundry machines, vacuums, and pressure mm -hmm. washers. These applications will prove must you, most useful when I perform my huh? cleaning. Cleaning? You mean the school? Hear me, you don't have to do, do that. Not agree. I do not mind. To serve others is the maid's duty. Selfless devotion is the principle by which I perform my responsibilities as a maid. Yo, I don't know why I have like this theory. I might be wrong. My theory last time was wrong. I don't know why I feel like she might have been either brainwashed or like she was in like some type of cult 
or something where they made her believe that she has to always serve someone. I don't know. I don't know. I can cast aside my personal feelings for the sake of serving everyone. I suppose that's what makes you the ultimate maid. Most people won't do that. Please let me know if you have a request. Given our situation, I will not take monetary payment. I will grant your wishes. I will wishes. do anything that you ask. Anything? It's kind of intimidating if you say it like that. Okay, don't say that to everybody. I'm so glad the other dude from the, from the second game wasn't here. Like the chef from the second game wasn't here. Because he would ask her to do something non-appropriate and she would do it. Because she's not going to deny it. So, let's look at the washing machines. There are a lot of washing machines in here, Mm -hmm. Okay, and what about you, sir? What are you doing? Excellent. Mm, Victorian, this room is quite tasteful. I don't just like gothic styles such as this. Mm, oh, yeah, me I too. See. This appears to be Kirami's research lab. Being in here brings a tale to my mind. Cory Keo closed his eyes and spoke as if in a trance. The era is 19th century England. A gentleman who pledges loyalty to the queen and a modest but beautiful maid. The story of a love that blooms between the light and darkness of social hey. classes. That sounds like the plot of a manga for girls. Is that so? Then are you saying I'm like some young love struck girl? <laughs> that is how I'm reflected in your eyes. Fascinating. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. Yo, he is so funny to me. I don't know why. Okay, let's look at the entrance door. Where does that lead to? Oh. Oh. Oh, to the other side. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Where, oh, we are up. We're up, oh, okay, okay. Let's go over here, what is that? What is that, oh, is this yours? Is this yours, baby girl? Okay, hold on, hold on, before I look at that, I wanna look at this. What is this? What is that? A treasure yeah. chest? You, we found a treasure chest. Why don't you open it, Shuichi? Huh? Really, I should open yeah. it? I believe this treasure chest is saying you should open it, Shuichi. I'm getting the sense that she thinks it's dangerous and wants me to open it. <laughs> hmm. All right, fine. With sweaty palms, I cautiously open the chest and what's inside of there? What's inside huh? of there? What the hell, a flashlight? No, it can't be just a flashlight. Maybe try turning hey. it on? No, that's so dangerous, we should inspect huh? it. Hmm, it'll be okay, even if the flashlight is saying, turn me on. <laughs> turn me on, hurry up and turn me on, Shuichi. <laughs> it's begging you. <laughs> She's so funny. Then, if you're so eager, why don't you flip the switch, Angie? Well then. Then I'll meet you halfway and inspect this flashlight myself. Huh? Meeting me halfway. Bayonara. Huh? Once you understand, I'll come teach you. Bayonara. <laughs> oh my God! Angie snatched the flashlight from me and ran off with the bounce of her but... step. Wait, inspected how? Huh? Is there anything else? Okay, that's okay. There's nothing else in there. Okay. Um, can we look in the room? Now this is a strange door. This might be an ultimate research lab. Based on the design. Oh wait, no, this is Gonta's. I forgot that he likes bugs. So this is Gonta's. Hmm. I wonder if they have bugs in here. Oh, they have artificial Ugh. ones. Okay. <laughs> wow, look at those bugs. Insect specimens lined the entire wall. It was a little, no, very gross. Amazing. Amazing, this paradise. I suppose I should keep my opinion to myself for now. Okay, so let's talk to you, Gonta. I know you love this room. Amazing. Uh, yep, see, look. Amazing. Go to wonder how many bugs there are. Gonta's so excited to get his own special room. Mm. Who make this room anyway? Gonta needs to say thank you. Huh? Um, I suppose it was Monokuma and Monokuma. Huh? What? No way, Monokuma. Yeah. But no person who likes bugs can be a bad person. Gonta's sad. Aww. Gonta, don't be sad. Look at these artificial bugs they gave you. Let's look at these arranged books. There are a lot of books here. They all seem to be related to insects. Hmm. And what what about these uh Oh! Oh! Okay, there are a ton of inspect specimens on this way. Pretty bug shun shine brighter than sparkly rocks. Mm. Going to understand, person who made these samples must love bugs. Each sample made with love and care. Putting love and care into bugs? Well I suppose everyone's different. Hmm. Okay, so now we got the bug room. I think that's it. Is that a cage? Oh wow, that is an extraordinary amount of bug mm. crates. Hmm, lots of larvae and eggs, and they even sleeping in cool place. Uh, um, they were refrigerated? What? It's okay, eggs probably hatch if Gonta take good care well. of them. Well, do your best then. Gonta is so cute. If they all hatch, there'd be bugs all over its academy. Releasing all these bugs in a new world, it's like the Bible story, Noah's Ark. 
If I remember correctly, the world was destroyed by a great flood and humans and animals began. This is perhaps that's a little too dramatic. <laughs> I like this room. This room is super gonta. Okay, so there's another level here. So let's go up. Stairs, it looks like I can go to the third All floor right. from here. They're a little scary, but I'll try it. Hmm. So there's another floor to this school. Oh, what the hell? Oh, uh-oh, hold on. This is Rioma's. This is Rioma's room. Okay, based on the design, this might be the ultimate tennis pros lab. What will be in here? Probably rackets and training equipment. Hmm, this is Rioma's room, so I'm not sure. Okay, so a bunch of tennis balls and a tennis ball machine. An entire indoor tennis court. This is impressive. Huh. So this is, his room is kind of cool. I want to see him actually play, though. I want to see him actually play. All right, let's talk to you, Rioma. Um. This is your lab, right, Rioma? It must be nice having a whole tennis court here. <laughs> hmm, I don't care. I have nothing to do with tennis anymore. <laughs> Nothing to do with tennis. Hey. Rioma, are you really not going to play tennis anymore? What was that? Tennis? Who the hell plays a hoity-toity sport like tennis? <laughs> sure. Oh, that's right. I totally forgot. You're a tennis player, aren't you? Away, it's ass. fine if you forget. That was a long time ago. <laughs> so when you killed a mafia with your badass tennis skills, was that a long time ago too? Wait. Ooh. Hey, come on, Mew. What was that? <laughs> what? It really happened, no. yeah? Yeah, it's true. Thanks to that, even if I escape from here, I'll just go straight to a different prison. Hmm, so it'd be meaningless for someone like me to play tennis now. Then why are you staring at the tennis court with such sad eyes, Riona? Are you a little bitch? Cause you're acting like a little bitch right now. <laughs> Mew, you ain't gotta do this to this man. He's already short. Just call him, don't call him a little bitch. Like, you can't, just call him a bitch. Like, don't call him a, a little bitch. He's already short, we know. Like, come on. What's what? with the stare down? You're scaring me. She doesn't like it when it's redirected to her. It's, uh, <laughs> she is funny, bro. Hey. Oh, now this is an interesting uh, machine. Um. An interesting machine? You mean the one swinging around? Ah. With a few mods, this bad boy will look real good. Yeah, my uh, creative juices are flowing. So big yeah. metal arm. Coming from her, it has to be inappropriate. I have a bad feeling about this. He's like, I, I don't want to know what she's thinking about over there. Okay. Let me go ahead and look at, oh. Wait, no, wait, that's the door, Jasmine. Okay, look at the tennis net. A tennis net stretched tight and looks sturdy. Hmm. Okay, so there's no, there's nothing else really in this room. It's just that and then that door back there. So let me go look at that door. Oh, the shower room. Is there a closet or something in the back? There's a shower room in the back. A shower room? Why don't you boys go in and give each other a good scrub down? You're already the perfect height. You know? <laughs> You'll be lined up just right when you turn around and face your weechie. <laughs> what? I was just kidding. I thought you'd laugh. No, he don't like that joke, okay? I think that that probably happened to him in prison and it didn't really go too well. So I don't I don't, I don't know. I don't know what kind of stories this one might have. And you know what? I just noticed that he has like a little prison shackle on his leg. Oh, oh, and he still has the stripes. How did I not even put this together? I don't know how. Oh, is this like a, what the hell? Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, oh, 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 oh. This is the child caretaker's room. I see it. I have no idea what kind, though. I should take a look inside. As I reach my hand to the doorknob, she popped up out of nowhere, Stop. right? Yep, there she goes. She said, I did not give you permission to enter. Maki? So this is the ultimate child caregiver's lab. You wouldn't think so, judging by the door. That's true. You're right, goodbye. Oh. Damn, can I look inside for a No, damn. Huh? What? But there's no rule against people going to see each other's labs. I don't care about the rules. I'm not letting anyone inside. Huh? What's going hey. on? Hey, what's going on? You guys aren't in the middle of a tip now, are you? <sighs> see, thanks to you, an annoying brat has showed up. Because? <laughs> you hear that, Shuichi? An annoying brat has showed up all because of you. Uh, okay, yeah, so? Yeah, it's you. So what's up? You don't want anyone to enter your lab, Maki? Don't be so pushy, Shuichi. It's not good to do stuff that'll make a girl upset, you uh, know? Um, oh, okay, I understand. Dang. Good, and stay away. If you try to go inside, it will be extremely painful for you. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> okay, then not down. We won't go in, all right. You're keeping that place secret, bet. Uh, 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 okay. And what's up with this? Hmm. What is this? It looks like a door, but I see it's just a painting of a door. It looks like a video game. I think this is called pixel art. Huh, so pixel art door. I'm pretty sure we could open it up with maybe like a pixel key. I don't know. Oh, oh, I see one. I see one, I see. Okay, hold on, let me get you, let me get you. Uh-huh, I see you over there chilling. 
I see you over there chilling, I got you. There we go. Okay, so let me leave this area. Let me go explore everywhere else. Hmm. Hmm, that's strange. What? There are a few plants around here. Some places are being renovated as well. Hmm. They did say it was under construction. I suppose construction is still ongoing. But where exactly is this academy built anyway? No one has come to save us. It must be some place remote. But where could you build a complex this large in secret? On a remote island, maybe? I don't know. That's, that's, at least that's what I'm thinking. I don't, I don't really know. Oh, what is this? Hold on. What is this monument? Oh, I can use that. Yes. There we go. I found one. Vine suddenly withered. Mm -hmm. The ivy withered in seconds. What remarkable technology. Huh? We can't get in. We can go in from there, um, right? You intend to go inside? That course of action seems dangerous. <laughs> we can go in there. Oh my god. What? 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 No. no, it's not dangerous. There's just a pool in there. Pool. Okay. Yeah, this is a pool. Schools and pools are inseparable. Um, I don't know what schools y'all going to because mine didn't have one, okay? I might be growing up in some rich schools or whatever, but my school didn't have one, my high school. That's huh, right. 24-hour convenience stores and blonde hooligans are also acceptable. Wonderful. wonderful explanation. <laughs> huh, thank you. You stupid. I don't know why being praised by the guy who killed our brother makes you so happy. <laughs> She's so like, look, I even get <laughs> I'm still looking at you sideways. <laughs> What should we do? There may be a pool, but we're not going in for a swim, are but, we? But if it's not dangerous, then maybe we should take a look. It is never bad to have too much information. You're right. Exactly. I suppose you're right. Hmm, so let's go in, y'all. Let's go in. I don't wanna see. This doesn't look like a normal school pool, more like a pool at a resort. There isn't that much water in it. Aren't pools usually filled up more? Hmm. Wow. Whoa, I've always dreamed of swimming in a fancy pool like some big shot celebrity. Um, too bad I don't know how to swim then I suppose that dream is pretty far away. Mm. It's not necessarily a dream of mine, but swimming with everyone does sound fun. If I tried to swim, I would just sink. And that one is even farther. <laughs> oh, poor Kibo, he can't swim because he's a robot. I'm so sorry, baby. Okay, let's look at the pool. Why is it that low? This doesn't look like a normal pool. Looks like, okay, there's much water in it. Okay, so we know that. Okay, look at the diving board. Hmm, it's a large diving board. There's also something you'll find at a resort. So this is just resort-ish. Like, huh? What are the pool rules? Hold on, let's look at that. Okay, some pool rules are posted here. There's one that I find hmm. peculiar. So swimming is prohibited is prohibited at nighttime. Hmm. Oh my God! Oh my Lord! What? <laughs> Every time I find like a pool That's or something. That's right. That's right. No one's allowed to swim during nighttime. Actually, it'll be terrible if someone died due to an unfortunate nighttime swimming accident. And that's that. We need you to die in the killing so. game. You can visit the pool at nighttime, but even touching the water is against the rules. Oh, I guess I'll add it to the existing regulations just in case. Okay, so they updated the book. Anyway, why is the pool's water level so low? It's barely enough to swim. What the hell are you saying? You got gaping holes instead of eyes or something? That's right. There's enough water to swim and only looks shallow because the pool is so deep. Um, and someone would be more likely to drown if you filled it all the way. And that's that. So that's that. They put a lot of thought into some strange that's things. Wonderful. wonderful explanation, everyone. <laughs> What, really? I'm so happy to hear you say He's that. stupid. Did you forget that he killed Monikin? You should hate him, guys. Screw Monikin, I always hate him. Okay. He was always violent, vulgar, rude, a shop clerk, and had a soft spot for abandoned kids. Hey. Why does that sound like a praise near the end? <laughs> He's like, you hated him, but you yeah. added like, some sugar on him. <laughs> anyway, no swimming at nighttime. That's okay, I wasn't planning on swimming. There are also some specifications right here. The pool is 82 feet in length and it's 39 feet wide. Okay, so it's 39 feet wide, but 82 feet. Damn, 82 feet, you dying. You dying in there if you can't swim. The pool inside is 13 feet on each end, and the left and right sides are eight feet each. Oh, ooh, I said it wrong, I said it wrong. I thought they meant 82 feet like in height. I was wrong. Okay, so lengthwise is pretty long, and then what? Got it. It's 13 feet on each side. Okay, got it. Alrighty, so. Oh, what's that door? The storage room door. Hmm, uh, um, this is like a storage room? Mm. I peeked inside and discovered all manner of pool supplies in there. 
It is fully stocked with kickboards, water polo balls, and even sturdy rubber inner tubes. By the way. Perhaps I could float in water if I inflate them and attach them all over my body. <laughs> I think you would look like that tire company's mascot. <laughs> the Michelin Man? <laughs> Listen up. If there's a fancy pool here, then that must be swimsuit here too. Huh? huh? Are you yes. positive? Of course. There'd be no point of having this pool here well. otherwise. Well, I suppose that's um. true, but... So where are the swimsuits? Only saw extra school uniforms back the dorm. That's true. All the closet scenes contain is spare uniforms. Hmm. If there were any swimsuits, I suppose they'd be in the warehouse. How scandalous! They're in a place that degenerate males have easy access uh, to? Um, I don't really think that's a problem. Oh, I get it. You're the worst of the worst! Degenerates really care about you swimsuits or ones that girls are wearing, don't they? If that's the case, then the swimsuits in the warehouse are definitely safe. Okay, girl, I don't know what experience you had with men, but it was not a good one. Okay. Hmm. I wonder if the day will ever come when I can swim with everyone. Aww. Kibo, I was wondering, if you fell off a boat and sank to the bottom, would you be stuck living under the sea beneath a rock or in a pineapple like SpongeBob? What is up with all these references? My goodness. What? No. No, I believe that before you get too deep, your body will be crushed by the Please pressure. stop! Please don't say such scary things, both of you, or I'll never set foot on a boat. Aw, Kibo. Kibo's so cute. That window must be to the gym's window. It looks like the one that was in the gym. I suppose that means the gym and the pool are connected. Mm -hmm. It's pretty standard for a school to have the gym and the pool area near each other. Right. But I think the pool could be moved to a much larger area. There's plenty of land in a courtyard. What about there? Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> He's like, I'm not, the, I'm not the one building this place. Oh, and there's a window up there. Huh. This window must be one of the school buildings. I remember all of the windows being sealed off, but this window in particular looks like a normal window. What room does it belong to? Anyone could peep through that window. Huh? Peep? Who would do that? Um, I heard degenerate males get turned on by girls in swimsuits than by girls who are naked. Mm -hmm. And they go bonkers over the bloomers we wear over our panties with, that we wear over our panties. Degenerate males! What are girls supposed to do against the filthy desires of degenerate males? No. I think maybe you're overreacting a little. Kibo, are you a degenerate male or a girl? Which is it? Good question. I've honestly never thought about it before. Huh? <laughs> really? How interesting. I suppose I did just assume he was a he, but Kibo is a robot, so... Yo, we all just assumed his gender. We should feel bad. We should. So where does that window lead to? Is what I'm trying to figure out. Because somebody, if a, if a kill did happen in there, maybe somebody could look down and see it. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, I think the crank goes here. Hold on. Let's put the crank there. Oh, let's get in there. Let's see. I want to see. I want to see what's in here. Okay, so the door open. Okay, there we go. I thought they were going to take us like straight in there since I put the crank, but you know. A casino? A casino? Oh. Oh, Hotel Kama Su Kuma Sutra. Not Kama Sutra, but Kuma Sutra. Okay, what? Love Suite. What is this building? I'm not sure I like the implication. Oh, what? Wait a minute, hold on. Rest for $20, $25. Two guests, two hours until 12 p.m. Overnight is 45. Hmm, guess the same. So is this a, is this a brothel? <laughs> is this a brothel? The love Suite. Can we go in? Can we go in? No, okay, okay, okay. I gotta pay money. I'll come back with money and see what, what happens. But I should have known. I should have known by the name. I should have known by the name that this wasn't an inappropriate hotel. I should have known that. I should have known that. It's right next to a freaking casino, so I should know. But I didn't. Okay, so let's, let's go to the casino. Let's go to the casino. Let's get some money. Okay. Hold on. This place is so huge, y'all. What is this place? Is this like a casino? It's a shiner sign. I bet, I bet that one that always holds money is gonna say something. I bet. Why hello, bear. Why hello, bear. Um, hmm. This place is not like a casino. It is a casino. Get it right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, this place is a casino. Um, you can earn lots of mana coins and exchange them for fabulous prizes. <laughs> yep, you sure can. <laughs> That was wonderfully amateurish, Monadam. It had a flavor not even father can match. That's right. It has, in a sense, you should pass daddy. Okay. Which makes you a grandpa, Monadam. Grandpa Monadam. So long, farewell. Okay, so we could exchange mana coins for, for prizes here. Hmm. So like a chunk of cheese. Got it. 
All right, a casino. Why is a casino in a place like this? Welcome, welcome. At the casino, you can use special casino coins to play various games. You can exchange mono coins and coins at the cashier. Once you exchange them, they can't be exchanged back, so know what you're doing. By now, you should be able to see how many coins you have. The coins you've saved up can be exchanged for fabulous prizes at the prize exchange counter. We're always looking, we're always getting new prizes and look forward to that. There are games for you to try in the basement. Go ahead. Let's play. Okay. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, so let's look at, okay. Oh, there's not much you can do. It's either go there or, okay, let's look at the exchange counter. Hold on. Okay, so I have, oh. Oh, okay, it's saying the price of them. Got it. Oh, it's like a, oh wait, no, it's not going to Okay. Um, Kaito, what you doing? Got it. Look, Shuichi. Kaito shouted and pointed at a treasure of coins in front of him. Whoa, where did you get that amount of coins? I hit the jackpot. I got this much from just one coin. All this from just one coin? That's incredible. Just a regular day of the luminary of the stars. My intuition usually leads me to victory. Oh, uh, nice work, Maverick. That's some uncanny luck you got there. Whoa, Whoa don't just jump out like that. My bad, I was alerted here by your lucky streak. Nice haul you got there. You can cash in those coins for something really splendid. What character is he playing? Well, well. They're only good here, though. But if you earn more, you can reach the best treasure in this place. Huh. After hearing that, there's no going back for me. Huh? But you can trade in what you already have right now. Come on, man. What are you saying? If I don't meet his challenge, I'm not a true man. Besides, there's no way my intuition as Luminary of the Stars can be wrong. That's, That's nice. it, Maverick. You the man. <laughs> He's encouraging him to gamble so he could lose the money. As, and thus began the sad tale of Kaido's downfall. See, look, when you're up, when you're up high, don't be greedy, okay? Don't be greedy in a casino. When you feel like you have gotten enough, like you hit the pinnacle, don't go for more, because you're going to lose it. You're going to lose it. Yep, that's what? what's happened. Damn it, not again. What's wrong, Maverick? You're down to half your coins. Wouldn't it be best to walk away now? Shut up! It's just half. I'm going to get everything back. Just you watch me. And he's gonna lose it again. Watch. Kaito inserted one point after another, but a win never came. This is my last coin. This is where I'm gonna have my dramatic comeback. Just you watch. Kaito slid his last coin into the slot and with a determined stare pulled the lever. In. Yeah. Right here. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Too bad. Too bad. Your intuition was totally wrong, Kaito. Man, I'm glad I built this casino. Watching suckers lose everything is hilarious. Yeah, see? You don't do that. Don't be greedy. Don't be greedy Damn. in a casino. Damn it, I was set up. If only I'd stop while I was ahead. You do hear that a lot from people who have gambled everything away. They think they could just win a little bit more and end up destroying them. Don't screw around. I'm gonna quit gambling forever. You can bet on that. That is also typically what those people say. You're gonna go back and get some more money and put it in the slot. So, okay. Now, where, what is that? Hmm. It looks like I can't play this right now. Huh, so that's closed. Oh, Outlaw Run, what is this? Oh, okay, that's closed. Mono Mono Slot, it looks like a slot machine game. Maybe I'll try this one. Yes, let's try this game. All right, so, oh, yes. Okay, oh, oh, okay, hold on. Let's, uh, let's do, Let's get myself to here. Yeah, yeah, there we go, there we go, okay. Now, let's go ahead and bet. How many can I bet? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, let me bet three of them. Now let's start. Hmm. My time hey, to there we go, I got some coins. Okay, okay, let me get out. Let me get out before um, I lose some money. So, let me go over here. Oh, that's, that's still the same. Those are still the same. What about that? Salmon fishing. Salmon fishing. It's a game where you fish for salmon. Maybe I'll try this one. Okay. Let's try that. Yes. Let's do that. I like to play the same. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Ooh. The order. Oh, get that. There we go. And then, I think. Yup, I was right. I was right. Okay. Got that one. Oh, that's green. That's green. That's green. That's green. Uh huh. Give me a red one. I think that one was red. Yup. Yup. I 
think that was blue. Uh-huh. Yes, Chaz. Okay. Okay. That's red. Okay. That's green. Okay. That one. I don't know about that one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That one's blue. There we go. I think that one was red. Yes. There we go. That one was green. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Got that one. That one's green. That one's blue. No! Shit. Okay. Get that one. Bam. Okay. Get that one. No! Okay. Shit. Okay. Okay. That one's red. Okay. I think that one. Shit! I was doing really good for a long time. I was doing really good for a long time. Okay. That one's, that one's blue. Is that one green? Fuck. No, it wasn't. Okay. Oh, oh. They got bombs in here? Okay. Um, I'm gonna wait. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. There we go. There we go. That one's red. Bam. And I think that one's red. Yup. Okay, cool. I messed up a little bit. I messed up a little bit. I got a B. Hey. Oh, I got eight. That's it? Oh, we got eight more? Okay, I guess because I was messing up. Yeah. Oh, found you, Shuichi. What happened? Oh. Oh, I didn't know you were here. I've been looking for you everywhere. Huh? Angie, did you find out anything about the flashlight? Uh, yep, I finally figured it out. It seems like a tool wants us to gather in a gym for an explanation. You don't have time to relax now. Bye, Anara. <laughs> She's so funny. If Atua is going to explain it to us, I'm guessing she didn't figure it out. But in any case, I should go to the gym. Hmm. But I wanted to see what was up there. I wanted to see what was up, because I didn't go up on those stairs. Can I still go? Oh wait, that's where I came from. Never mind, Beth. Never mind. That's where I came from. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Everyone! Everyone, gather round. We all here? Good. Then let's bow our heads and pray for Tua. You're a real pain in the ass, you know that? You just tell us what you fucking want. Yes, all right then, check this out. What's the matter? That is peculiar looking flashlight, so what of it? Uh, uh, I don't know what it is either. I inspected it pretty good. <laughs> but in the end, I couldn't figure it out. Huh? You couldn't? How so I asked someone for Could help. Atua. She asked Atua. <laughs> Damn it, girl, why'd you ask him? Leave oh my god. Monokuma. If something has you worried, just let Monokuma take care of it. If you don't know something, I'll tell you. If you need help, I'll help oh, you. If really? you don't like something, I'll fix it. So don't get rid of it. Just please get, don't get rid of me. <laughs> Very bad when ladies who act like that praise on what? you. Huh? Do you know that from personal experience? Tell us, Monokuma, what is this flashlight? Why, that's a flash backlight. A flash backlight? Huh? Flashback. Nice. Light? That flashlight doesn't shed light on darkness. It sheds light on your lost memories. Man, we could have used that on Rantaro. You bitch, you knew it too. You knew it too, Monica. You knew it. That's why you off, well, he didn't off him, but that's why Rantaro died first. I could have used that damn flashlight on freaking Rantaro. Man, geez. All right. All right. Lost memory. Yeah. You guys seem concerned that you couldn't remember how you came to the school. Yeah. But if you use that flash backlight, you can remember everything. Huh? What? With this light? Yeah. So it's your fault we don't remember when we were kidnapped, right? Why? What did you do to us? And how did you steal our memories yeah. away? Yeah. Maybe if you use the flashback light, you'll be able to remember this that too. Stupid. I don't believe it. No way this flashlight will cover our memories. Yeah. Yeah. I bet there were a lot of naysayers and skeptics when the telephone was invented too. For your information, a flashback light can treat various symptoms of memory loss. The light it emits to stimulate the basal ganglia and the hippocampus. Hippocampus. Not just that, but physical. Phew, I didn't realize how boring it would be to explain. Okay, basically it works like that. Hmm. So are we gonna use it? Right. Hey, don't just give up on explaining after a single what sentence. What should we do? So what should we do? Um, what should we do? You mean, should we or should we not use the flashlight? No. No way, I refuse. It reeks of fishiness. Mm. Yeah, Gonta no can believe flashlight could bring back well. memory. Well, why not ask someone who knows machines? We've got the ultimate inventor right here. Uh. You're all a bunch of ultimate dumbasses. <laughs> no fucking way that thing can treat amnesia. Then again, these aren't exactly normal circumstances. Well. So in such an uncanny environment as this, common sense has no place. Uh, well, I mean, there are those neuralizer things, the flashy things from Men in Black. No. <laughs> Why are you talking about a movie? This is real life. Yes. You're right, sorry. Girl, it's okay, I feel you. I know I know most of your references. Some of them I don't get, but I know most of them. So it's, it's fine. I don't like that. I don't that. think we should do it. I'm scared. It might cause some weird side effects. Uh, I'm worried how it will affect my magic. 
Has everyone spoken? If we're in accord, I will consent as well. Then. What about you, Shuichi? You have not said anything huh? yet. What? All right. All right, then it's decided. Let's what? use it. Huh? Who decided that? We were all saying how dangerous Jeez. it sounds. Jeez, you guys are way too cautious. I mean, I understand why. We're in such a weird situation now. Oh. But we can't win by just running away all the time. What? Listen up. If you want to win, you got to be a little reckless sometimes. If we can't face this danger, there's no way we'll be able to defeat Monokuma. <laughs> Well, aren't you confident? But you have no idea how we're supposed to win, do you? Ah. Yeah, I've got no clue, but still. Let's do it. If you want to win, you got to make a stand somehow, somewhere, or you'll never move forward. If we run away, our kids will grow up to be the kind of people who run away from things like I this. I don't understand. Huh? What are you talking about? No. If you still want to run away, then go ahead. I won't stop you or blame okay. you. Okay. Okay, fine, then let's go. <laughs> huh? What's wrong? Everyone, are we going? Um, I'm staying. Listen up. After hearing that degenerate speech, running away would just frustrate mm. me. Gonta also stay. It's what true gentlemen will probably 100%. do. 100%. I also agree with Kaito. Our defeat is 100% assured unless we stand up to this. That's how I feel deep inside. Just a whisper. <laughs> you hear it in your ghost? I'm pretty sure robots don't have ghosts, though. You know what? I'm getting tired of Kokichi coming for her. Kibo. I really am. Like, Kibo is just saying that he wants to stay. Okay, just because you want to run away and be scared? This mean you gotta bully the damn robot. He gonna get, he gonna get to the next. He gonna die next. I hope so. I hope so. That is not Leave fun. me alone. <laughs> I shall stay as well. I suspect I will be able to observe something most On interesting. On your knees. If anything happens to me, y'all better back my fans, the world, and humanity for forgiveness. Right. So what are you gonna do, Shuichi? Uh, okay, I'll stay behind it. too. All right. right. I'll stay too. So what if it might cause some weird side effects? That's no big deal. It seems, as it as seems as everyone as agrees with Kaito. Very well. I shall follow <laughs> suit. Hmm, now it's decided. Hurry up and do it. Then I'm gonna turn yeah. it on. Yeah, please. Oh, let's see. At that moment, that Angie flicked on the light. Oh, the world warped. Excuse me? Excuse me? Oh, 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 that was kinda cool. <laughs> oh, oh wow. Oh wow. Let's see. A lightning bolt in my mind shattered my consciousness like shrapnel. Like a video on fast forward scenes played out in the back of my head when the pieces of my psyche had gathered together again. Oh, dang, we didn't even get to see nothing. Oh my God. I remember, I remember now. Huh, oh, oh God. I was running away. I had been running this entire time from the ultimate hunt. Those of us with ultimate talents were hunted down. I wasn't safe anymore. Eventually, I had no place to run. I was concerned, and to escape from the ultimate hunt, I threw away my ultimate talent to live as a normal high school student. By erasing my talent and my memories, I no longer had any reason to be hunted. If I didn't do what I did, I would have been captured, a fate worse than death. And so I chose. Hmm. Oh, I chose, I chose to gamble on a new technology developed in a particular facility. Technology that could put your memories to sleep by controlling your brain waves. I used that to hibernate all memories relating to my talent. So, did everybody, like, volunteer to come here? Did they all volunteer to come here and they weren't kidnapped? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. That's it. Yes, I remember everything now. In order to escape the ultimate hunt, I erased my own memory. Hold up. Wait, did you say ultimate huh? hunt? Huh? Really? You guys too? So it wasn't just me getting chased down in this ultimate I do hunt? Not agree. Yes, you were not the only one. I, no, we were being chased as well. So everybody was being chased. We looked around at one another, each of us with the same shocked expression. What Kirimi said was true. We were all the same. We were all running from the ultimate hunt. In other words. All of us here were being chased by the ultimate hunt. What on earth does that mean? Um, oh wait, can someone tell me what that is? I can't seem to remember. What is the ultimate geez. hunt? Jeez, how could you forget something so important? All right guys, the ultimate hunt is, you don't know either, do you, Kaito? What? Huh, what was it? Why can't I remember? Uh, um, I can't either. I suddenly realized I could not remember any important details of the ultimate hunt. Oh. It's no use, I can't remember either. I can only remember being chased. I can't remember anything else at all. Yeah, no matter how hard I try, I can't seem to remember. Hmm. I. Don't want to live. Oh. I want to die with everyone else. Oh my God. What was that? I want to die with everyone else. I remember saying that, but why did I say it? Uh, um, it's no use. I can't remember either. God damn this it. This feels gross, like a shit that won't fully squeeze out, girl. <laughs> you know what? I'm 
it's gonna be nasty, but I understand, I understand, man. Cause like, sometimes it won't come out. And then it's like, I does anyone do, is this just me? But like when, but when shit won't come out, like, okay, we're human, right? Let's, let's talk, let's talk. When, when shit won't come out your asshole, and you have to then sit there and make the decision. Do I want to risk ripping, <laughs> risk ripping my butthole apart to push this fully out? Or do I want to suffer further consequences later by letting this shit go back up in, <laughs> in my ass? Or do I just try to cut it off midway like like let the let let the butthole close so that the shit or part of it could come out fully i don't i don't know i just i think i just made that completely disgusting but whatever we're gonna we're gonna keep going <laughs> even if we can't remember we should still be able to figure something huh? out huh what you mean huh? If we were all running from the ultimate hunt, then why are we in prison? Why? Here? Huh? Could why? Could the reason be that we were caught by the ultimate hunt? Caught by the um, ultimate hunt? You mean we tried to escape by erasing our memories, but they found us anyway? And subsequently we were captured as part of this ultimate hunt? You know... Then this killing game yeah. is, yeah, it might be the work of the ultimate hunt. If that's so, then I am all the more concerned about this ultimate but, hunt. But, but how disappointing. No one can remember anything. Yeah. What a disappointing disappointment. <laughs> Piece of shit. Quit laughing about this, you little shit. It seems, it seems losing him made a far bigger impact than me. Like, yes, when we were talking, when I was saying that I needed to talk to Rentaro, okay? Because Rentaro knew something and then his ass had to die. His ass had to die. And I knew that he had some information. I knew that he'd been here before. I think that he did. I feel like he has been here before. And unfortunately, he was the first one to die. Or he's been in the hunt or the killing game, I don't know, or both. I don't know. I feel like he's been in one of those and survived, okay? And I'm just upset that he died. I'm just upset that he died and we couldn't get more information from him, man. That just that just upsets me. It just upsets me. Him, yes. Rintaro, he seemed to know more than he let on. Exactly, Kira, I mean, we here. Hey, I have a question. This might sound a little weird, but does the term ultimate hunt ring a bell for anyone? See, he knew. Oh, I do sort of remember him saying something like that. Mm. Our mild-mannered mystery man said that, huh? But but then why did only Vitaro remember the ultimate Listen. Hunt? There's no point discussing that now. After all, he's already dead. <laughs> but if you truly wish to hear his words, I can perform a seance for you. Don't screw around. Stop it. Don't bring up weird stuff like that. And why are you acting girly all of a sudden? Because uh, he said he was acting like one. Too bad. Yep, death can be real heartless. Why? Says the road of all evil. <laughs> Looks like you guys safely got your memory hey. back. What the hell's going on, you stupid ass bear? This ultimate hunt makes no goddamn sense. Yeah. Looks like your sealed memories are more stubborn than I thought. Just one use of the flashback light wasn't enough to restore all of your you memories. Got me. You're such a terrible liar. You totally did that on purpose. What connection do you have with the ultimate hunt? <laughs> I can't reveal that. Regardless of my true identity, my goal is crystal clear. <laughs> and that is to make you guys participate in a killing game. That is my only desire. Hmm. The killing game. That's what it always comes back to. You gotta be kidding what me! What killing game? I never will do that ever That's again. Right. We just gotta work together. If we cooperate, we'll make it out of here alive. <laughs> just like a certain someone said. Okay. But, but I believe cooperating with each other is the most logical course of action. I'm snoring. Why, Why are you sleeping? Whoa, Whoa huh? Jeez. Hey, Kokichi, we're having a serious conversation mm. here. And is it written somewhere that I have to take serious conversations seriously? <laughs> Quit acting so immature. Mm -hmm. hmm? I'm a teenager, so duh, I'm immature. Aren't you guys forgetting to act your age? What is it? But I don't have a biological age. Ah. Don't worry about it, Kibo. I'm just talking to the humans right now. Ooh, Kibo, just punch him one good time. We'll all turn. We'll all turn around and act like we ain't see it. We'll, we'll, we'll look away, okay? <laughs> just get him. Just get him, babe. So? What were we talking about again? Something about working together to escape, right? Mm -hmm. So you were listening, you horrible degenerate. See? We don't have to work together, though. Let's just ask how we can get What's out. What's the point? If we ask Monokuma, he'll say the only way to win is to kill him. Really oh, we're not going to ask Monokuma. We're going to ask the mastermind among us. Huh? What? Why you? Are you already going senile? I thought we agreed there's no mastermind. Hmm. Yeah, we did, didn't we? If we tried to sniff out a mastermind again, we'd just repeat Kaede's school up. You better quit you messing around. You think I'm messing around right now? 
Oh, man. oh man, you really don't get it. I'm trying to get through to everyone. If you keep saying all this uplifting stuff about working together and cooperating, <laughs> then you can expect to receive some painful retaliation. Get it? Wait. What are you suggesting, That's Shinichi? enough. That's enough. I'm gonna slug what? him. He's gonna punch me. I've gotta make a break for it. Oh. Oh, are you, why are you running away? Kokichi said his piece and then dashed as fast as he can get out of the room. <laughs> Damn, he's Sheesh. fast. Jeez, what a strange guy. Jeez. He just provokes people and never says anything from the heart. He's always messing around and making fun of those around huh. him. Hmm, how can he say such insensitive things when we're trying so hard to survive? <laughs> it's like he doesn't even want to survive. Though I guess I'm no different. Huh? What? In other words. Yeah, I don't plan to survive to the end. This man has been suicidal, like, this whole game. Okay. Ryoma, um, you not plan to survive? What that means? He has mentioned that before, that he has no reason to live. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have a reason to live? Poor Ryoma. It seems he's got more tragic past than we could even begin to imagine. I mean, yeah, but the ultimate tennis pro shouldn't be saying such cowardly stuff. What mm -hmm. do you think? Perhaps you should relax over a meal? Everyone, could you please tell me your favorite foods and vegetables? Huh? huh? You're gonna whip something up? Hear me, are you like the perfect mom? Yes, she is. I want to be her. I want I want her to be my mom. I want her to be my mom, okay? After we finished the meal that Kirimi prepared for us, we decided to return to our rooms. I want to see the food. Like, I want to see the talent. Can I see it? Anyway, what is the ultimate hunt? And why did Rintaro know? But I suppose I won't get anywhere thinking about it myself. All time right. for action. There's still some time left today. I need to think of a plan. Okay, so free time. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk to somebody. Oh! I think I could talk to Kaito now because I have like this astronaut gift thing that I can give to him. So let's just the man I want to talk to. Hello, Kaito. Ah. Hey, Suichi, you seen Kokichi anywhere? I saw him a while ago and tried to tell him something, but he got away again. Should I hang out with Kaito? Yes. Yeah. Hey. You bored? Then come help me find Kokichi. Hmm. I wonder if we're going to find him. Maybe not. Kaito and I spent some time looking for Kokichi. Kaito and I grew a little closer today when I give him a gift. Yes, I will. Because I have something that's related to him. Hold on. Let's get that astronaut thing that I saw before. Where was it? It was like an astronaut something. That. That right there. A plastic model of an actual buggy used by astronauts. Let's get yeah. it. Let's use that. Are you serious? Are you serious? I didn't think you could even find this around here. <laughs> As expected, no, great job, I'm so happy. Leave it to me. You got something to tell me? Don't hold back, I'll listen. You're pretty enthusiastic mm -hmm. about this. Well, you're an astronaut trainee, right, Kaido? Right. Sure am, I'm still a trainee, but I'm gonna be accepted for sure. sure. Training to be an astronaut has to be hard. Can you handle huh. it? No problem, my training's a piece of cake. Kaito was grinning at me, but then his expression turned serious. You know. Well, to be honest, it's about as intense as intense can get. But the universe is harsh, you gotta be able to handle any situation. Any situation. I mean, the first two years is basic training. It's pretty straightforward. You can learn the skills needed to be an astronaut. Medicine, aeronautical engineering, scuba diving, linguistics, survival training. You are pretty much just gotta master everything. Mm -hmm. Survival training, you have to do that too? Got it. Yeah, for emergencies where I gotta make an unexpected return from space. That's right, I suppose you do risk your life to be an astronaut. Ah, oh, that reminds me, I remember watching something on the news. There's a training facility for astronauts on the bottom of the ocean, right? Yeah. Right, it's pretty famous. It's a little different from basic training, though. Listen up. All right, pop quiz. What's the most important thing an astronaut needs? Uh, um... Oxygen? I don't... I mean, I don't... Um... Perseverance? Hmm. Perseverance? Got it. Sure, that's necessary, but there's something more important than that. The C4 facility exists to help people train this specific thing, and that thing is... Listen up. Communication. The most important thing for an astronaut is teamwork. Okay, so none of the answers is gonna be right. Why do you set me up like this? <laughs> the universe is a frontier that the people of the world challenge together. And since we need to work together, communication is vital. Right. That does sound quite important, huh. right? They check that in the recruitment exam. That's why you need language training. It makes up a fourth of basic training. Of course, I can speak Japanese, English, and Russian all fluently. I didn't just learn the languages, I had to learn each culture too. The culture, huh? I never thought I'd hear Kaito. Oh, wait, now that I think about it, he can speak multiple languages, is well-learned, has what it takes to be an astronaut. I've been underestimating him. Kaito is incredible. Damn. Damn it, I want to get back to training. The universe is getting away from me. The world needs this luminary of the stars to shine even brighter. I don't have the heart to tell him that. I'm not so sure about that. Hmm, yay, there we go. Okay, got it. Because the first time that I talked to him, I didn't have a gift that was specifically for him, you know? So... 
good. It looks like there's still some time left. Okay, cool. So I can spend some time with somebody else. Well, who would I spend time with? I'll figure it out. Let me talk to Gonta. Let me spend some time with Big Man. Mm. Kirami's food is super yummy. Yummy meals do body good. Gonta needs to remember to thank Kirami. Should I hang out with him? Yes, I should. Mm. Okay, let's work out and then eat yummy dinner. See, I like he's just so, he's just so adorable. Gonsa and I had a good workout together. All right, Gonsa and I get close today. Yes, I will. Okay, we get the spiel already. And let me go ahead and give him this because this says apples cut into bunny shapes, often used as bait for certain animals and insects. So maybe he might like this. So let's see. Wow. Oh, wow. Gonsa think bug friends will like this. Shuichi likes bugs too. Gonsa's so happy. Thank you. Thank you, Shuichi. Huh? For what? Hey. For inviting Gonsa. Gonsa very, very happy. This may be first time Gonsa spend free time with anyone. Oh, I forgot that he didn't spend a lot of time with people. So Gonsa will work hard, treat Suichi like true gentlemen. No. Ah, it's okay, Gonsa. You don't have to be so intense. Just talking no. is fine. No, it's not fine. Shuichi invited Gonsa. Um, but what should we do for fun? Think, Gonsa, think. Oh, yeah. Oh, Gonsa, no. Come, we race. Huh? Oh, race. Hey. Gonsa good at running. Running full speed throughout four is so much fun. Look, running is not one of my things that I like to do, okay? I, I will stop. I will stop running if I get tired. Plus, feel good to run like win. Maybe nice change of pace. He claims to be a gentleman, but now he wants to race? Okay. All right, Gonsa, if you want to race, let's mm. race. Okay, then, let's go. Ooh, I wish I could see it, man. I wish I could see it. Gonsa grabbed my hand and pulled me firmly, and I ran along behind him. Wait. Gonsa, you're running too fast. I had forgotten that Gonsa was raised in the wild. Of course he's athletic. See? Not yet. To run like win, gotta run away uh. faster. What are you talking about? After being dragged along by Gonsa, I began to trip over my feet. Exhausted, I began to stagger, and unluckily, the stairs to the basement were right there. Well, I'm gonna this fall. Big Shuichi! I heard Gonsa shout and felt my body being pulled uh. back. Whoa! <laughs> he saved him. <laughs> Gonsa yanked me back toward him, and when I hit his chest, we both fell over. Or so I thought. Gonsa didn't even flinch when I hit him. You all right? Shuichi, okay? Thank you. Oh, I'm okay. That was close. Thank you for saving me. <laughs> no, thank Gonta. Gonta makes Shuichi run. This all Gonta's fault. Sorry, Gonta not very fun. No, 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 no. Don't. I pop. No. I had fun. I had fun. Hey. It's okay. I had fun, Gonta. Really? Okay. Of course. It's been a long time since I had to run that fast. It felt good in a way. A nice change of pace. Wow. Oh, then Gonta glad Shuichi had uh, fun. Okay. Gonta? I'd like to do this again sometime. The next time I need another change of Got pace. Got it. Okay, then go to wait. Invite go to any time. Go to do anything for Chuichi. Go to protect you like gentlemen. Oh, go to really is pure. Oh my God, I'm gonna be so sad when somebody mark his ass because I know it's gonna happen. I feel like I feel like it's gonna happen, man. I feel like somebody's going to mark Gonta. I don't know why, because he's so nice. Like, I don't really don't think that he would kill, unless it's like a all an act. Then maybe he would. Uh, it's nighttime. No more swimming, no more eating. Go to bed. <laughs> there goes Mata Dan, no say nothing. official <laughs> announcement. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is now 10 p.m. For now. Everyone is out now, on work duty. Two. Wait, what? Bedtime, Ursine. <laughs> I don't understand that sentence. Hmm. Nighttime already. Today really flew by too. As I lay in my bed, Ryoma's words came back to me. Hmm. Reason to live. When I really think about it, what do I have? I want to see my family and friends again, but is that a reason but... to live? I wonder how it was for Kaede. I'm sure she had a plenty of reasons to live. That's the kind of girl she was. But I, why am I thinking about this? I shouldn't be thinking this stuff. I know I need to stop thinking that way, but when I'm alone, I can't Damn help it. it. Damn it. Aw, Shuichi, it's okay. With all my willpower, I force myself to sleep. Hmm. Oh? Um. What's that? Is he sleeping? Oh, what? Are they, are they watching me sleep? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's sleeping. He's out like a oh. light. You mean out like a light? More Who cares? Light. Just hurry up and leave the present so we can get out of here. Mm. Don't rush me. Jeez, it's dark in here. I can't tell which is which. Yo, what did they leave me? What did they leave in my room? Don't try to set me up, you little Power Rangers. Now it's only oh, for y'all. <laughs> this is an official, oh, official announcement. It is now 8 a.m. Have a wonderful Kelly School semester today. Some wonderful announcement, Mama Dam. I can't believe it's your first hey. time. This isn't really your first time, is it? Hey, is this really your this first time? This is the first time. 
Mm. Oh, you're blessing. How More cute. Importantly. Anyway, we dropped off some presents. And in the that's room. that. Cower in fear, cause hell starts so here. Then mm. Oh, a present. What does that mean? What is that? When did this get here? It looks like a monopad, but it's not. It says Cubs pad on the back in huh? fine print. Cubs pad? When I touched the screen, the device came to life and started playing a video. Huh? Huh? All right. Oh, Back Lord. By popular demand, it's, a motive. it's time for the motive video. Great. Who's Great. the most important person in your life? Oh, my and gosh. And now, without further ado, show Kaito. Aren't they? Oh, Kaito's grandparents? Oh. Kaito Momota, the ultimate astronaut. Oh. Thanks to his exceptional talent, this young man is already an astronaut trainee. Wow. Oh, don't kill his parents. Well, his grandparents. Parents or grandparents? I'm guessing grandparents. Don't kill his grandparents. Our team has managed to score an exclusive interview with his grandparents. Uh-oh. They miss their grandson terribly. Uh -oh. And hope he returns to them safe and sound. But don't just take my word for it. Uh-oh. Let's hear it straight from the source. Oh, no. Kaito, as long as you're alive, mm. I don't need anything else. Oh. Grandpa. No matter what happens, you must live. You must never give up. Please, live on for our sakes, too. Their only wish is for Kaito to live. Why are we focusing on Will Kaito? Will Kaito be able to fulfill his grandparents' wish? Ah, yes. Aww. One more thing. Shortly after this interview wrapped, these old farts suffered an unfortunate accident. No, don't tell me he killed them. Don't what tell me he killed them. accident? It's a secret. Find out for yourself. <laughs> oh, you evil bitch. You evil bitch. Ooh. Ooh. Huh? Now we got to check about Kaito. Kaito's going to be livid. Okay. What was that? Uh, um... A motive video? Could this be another one of Monokuma's motives? Even if it were, why do I have Kaito's motive? No. I'll think about that stuff later. I should hurry and tell Kaito. I ran out of the hallway on a mission to find Kaito. Did they give everybody different videos? Like not their own? Hmm. Okay, where is Kaito? Okay, so he's not in here. Oh wait, oh, oh, okay. I should try his room. Okay, okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay, he's not up there. He's not over there. Not that one. Not those. Okay, there we go. Okay. With shaking hands, I press the doorbell. Kaido? Kaido? Oh. No answer. Did he already leave? In that case, he must be at the dining hall. I'll try there. See, that's what I tried to do too, but the game said check his room first. Look, I, I know what to do. The game just trying to hold me back, okay? Where are you, Kaito? Kaito's not here either? Um. Uh, has anyone seen Kaito? You seem in a panic over the Cubs pad, if I'm not huh? mistaken. What? Uh, You're not the only one who got one, Shuichi. Uh -oh. We all did. Yes. We all have been given motive videos. However, they all have been mixed up. Okay, so I was right. They all were given different ones. Okay. Huh? Mixed uh -oh. up. When I woke up, there were Cubs pads in my room, but the video on it wasn't no. mine. Sumagi, we should discuss this once everyone is here. <gasps> oh, sorry, you're uh, right. Um, what do you mean, once everyone is yes. here? Kaito and Kibo went to gather everyone else so that we may discuss yes. our plans. Shall we wait for everyone then? Until then, I can provide you all with massages. <laughs> She's still trying to service people. Okay, Kaito's alive, thank God. Um, okay, thank you for waiting. We gathered everyone oh, else. Dear. My word. And after I was about to finally experience one of Kirimi's fame massages. What is it? What do you mean? Are you also suggesting that I cannot read the well, air? So, <laughs> he means read the room. <laughs> what is it? Why did you drag us come here? Come on, man. Didn't I tell you it's about the cuffs pads? Monokuma gave us a new motive. We can't not talk is about that it. So? That thing that looks like another monopad, that was a motive? Huh? Mikey, haven't you watched the video on the cuffs okay. pad yet? No, I ignored it because I figured it was some stupid. <laughs> She's like, look, I don't care what they're giving me, okay? I'm just not killing anybody. <laughs> uh, That's actually really courageous in a weird sort of right. way. You don't have to speak up, but this is important, so you should at least listen. So, so what are these videos? Hmm. No doubt there are more motives from Anakuma, but why were they all mixed Honest. up? Yeah, why Gonta get Sumigi? Hey. No, don't say it, Gonta. Huh? Ah, huh? uh, oh, I heard it. I see. So Gonta has my what video. What happened? Huh? Gonta not supposed to say it? Who fucking cares? We're gonna exchange them anyway, what? right? No, we cannot exchange them. What? what? We can't? Why not? Their videos are the most important people in our lives. No. And that is precisely why we cannot exchange them. Listen closely. Although we do not know why our motives were mixed up, 
As long as we don't exchange them, we don't have to see our motives at all. Then, so it's better to just ignore yes. them. Yes, at least that is what I think. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. true. If we ignore them, then we won't have a motive. I'm against Why? that. Oh, against it. Why? If you see that video, it'll turn into a motive, right? <laughs> That's why I want to see uh, it. You do? Always you were saying around. something like that before, that you don't plan on surviving. It might not matter to you whether you get killed or Dumb not. Ass. We're different. We all want to live. Wake up already. You're like some zombie wandering around with no will to live. <laughs> no will to live, huh? If that's how you see me then, so be it. Not cool. But I've got no plans to change my opinion. That's just not cool. What? What did you say? Mm. Who cares? Ryoma just stated his opinion. Because? Actually, I feel the same way as Kokichi. him. Are you trying to cause trouble again? That's so mean. Don't get the wrong idea. I'm not saying we shouldn't care about killing or dying. <laughs> but I think it'd be better if we didn't cooperate with each other. <laughs> Actually, we definitely shouldn't cooperate with each other. Why? We shouldn't cooperate. Why because? not? Because? Think back to all of Monokuma's actions so far. Whenever we tried to work together, Monokuma would retaliate with a plan to make us suffer. It happened when Kaede wanted us to cooperate, and again with these motive videos, right? <laughs> Which means the more we try to cooperate, the more he'll try to make us suffer. He got a point. He has a point. Then. You are saying that if we do not rally together, we will not be made to I'm suffer. Disappointed. That's why I had no choice but to screw with you guys, but you ingrates didn't even notice. That's. And you're not lying to us right now? now? Whether I'm lying or not, what I'm saying is still true. You know? Anyway, we shouldn't force ourselves to cooperate. Let's just all do our own thing. So I agree with Ryoma's suggestion. Hmm, it's because we're trying to cooperate that Monokuma's making us suffer? But what about everything we went through? What was the point of Kaede sacrificing So that himself? means... Anyway, I'm warning you all for your sake. Let's just exchange our motive videos instead of cooperating with each other. Incomprehensible. I cannot comprehend that logic. See? Well, now that I've said I won't cooperate, I can't afford to seem to be losers. Come on, Gota, let's go. Huh? Gota, don't go! <laughs> what because... Gota do? We promised to think of a way to get everyone to exchange their motive videos, remember? So that means... Anyway, hear me, I'll hit you up later when I'm feeling hungry. <laughs> huh? Wait, Go did Gota make promise? Don't go with Gota! Why can't you tell when he's lying, yeah. Gota? Quit screwing around. Are safe? Yeah, right. I've had it with well, lies. So are we all done here? Then I'm leaving. <sighs> Hear me. Bring me my dinner later. <laughs> Everybody's just Hi. ordering her around. I'm heading Hi. out too. Wait up, Rioma. Don't forget, we're all struggling to get out of here alive. So don't get in our Jeez. way. I've got no intention of getting in your way. I'd never do something so uncool. By the way. Hear me. Could I get you to clean my room later? Can you stop asking Actually. this woman? You guys are relying on Kirimi too much. I do not agree. I do not mind. Serving others is a true desire of any huh. need. You shouldn't spoil people, though, especially degenerate males. In any event. Our cooperation is the number one factor in our suffering, is it? How, I wonder, will this turn out? I will observe with great interest. I shall observe. Oh, and Kirimi, I shall have you record my observations. I trust you to do it properly. Look, Kirimi is not your slave, okay? And Kirimi, I know she wants to please people, but, like, they're taking advantage of you. Like, can we not? Can we not do this? <laughs> Well, I'm certainly not gonna hang out with a bunch of chumps like that you. Being said. Guess I'll go back, take a shit, and get some sleep. Kirimi, me, thinking of an invention for me, okay? <laughs> um, How much is everyone going to depend on Kirimi? My workload has increased significantly. This calls for more tactical huh. change. Come on, you can't spoil them. They'll just turn into ungrateful, ungrateful leeches. Eh? Huh? Wait, what's wrong, Kimiko? Are you hungry? What? Then how about we eat together? Kirimi, one tripe hot pot, please. Um. <laughs> Tenko, you're giving her more work. Himiko? What's wrong? What's the matter, Himiko? You don't like tripod pot? Uh... You don't get it, Tenko. Himiko isn't hungry. I know because I have the almighty of two. <laughs> Whatever, uh... let's just enjoy some tripod pot. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez, you're so careless, Tenko. Why is everybody ordering her around? I don't like it. In the end, those of us that stay behind had tripod pot for a quirky take on breakfast. We also promise not to show each other the motives. Too much breakfast. Anyway, it seems like everyone wants to do their own thing. What can we do to work better together as a group? I wish I could do something on my own. That's impossible. If I screw up, it'll just be like Kaede all it's over no again. Use. I did it again. I can't keep these thoughts out of my head. I can't stand around doing nothing. I promised her. All right, time to spend some time with other people. All right, let's spend time with Magic Girl. Videos are the most important people in our lives, huh? No, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Should I hang out with Himiko? Yes. I think I should. Do whatever you want. Oh, Does she not have anybody important? Maybe? I spent some time with Himiko, though she was being particularly lazy. Himiko and I grew a little closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's definitely give her a present. Let's give her that little magic book. I don't. I, I wonder if she's gonna be offended or feel happy. I don't know. Ah. Yes, this will do. Now my MP can recover. Yay! Well, it's still not enough to power a big spell. Oh, 
Kimiko? Um, Are you okay? What? Wait, what you doing? She looks annoyed. Her glare is telling me to go uh, away. Um, if you don't want to talk to me, you could have turned me down. I'm too lazy to say no. <laughs> I see. I never met someone so thoroughly lazy, but that is strange. Um, hey, Himiko, why did you decide to be a magician? Okay. I'm not a magician. I'm a mage and I use real magic. Don't get it wrong. She's like, get it right. I've been saying it every episode. Y'all keep calling me a magician and it's getting disrespectful at this point. It's magic. It's real magic, okay? You get it, right? Okay, then show me some real magic. Then? Well, that's... There's no mana here, so I can't. If you sacrifice yourself, no. I could. I'd rather not be sacrificed while I decline. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's too bad. I guess you're just not passionate enough about magic. Not passionate enough to sacrifice myself, maybe. Mm -hmm. Anyway, what are we talking about? And why am I a mage? Why are you asking about that? That's... Well, because... Isn't it strange that such a lazy girl would go through so much work for a magic Remember. trick? Remember. It seems like magic requires a ton of work to prepare, so... Jeez. A typical amateur question. You don't need annoying preparations for magic. <laughs> I see. I'm, I'm talented. Not relying on my talent will go against my master's teachings. Mm -hmm. Master? You have a master, Himiko? Mm -hmm. Did I not tell okay. you? This is the first time I'm hearing it. So there are apprentice magicians? Mm -hmm. Hmm, that's right. My ma master was an amazing arc mage. Oh, wait. Hmm. Hey, wait. You call me a magician again. I'm a mage. All right. <laughs> she is so cute in her own little way. Let's see who else we can spend time with. All right. Let's talk to you, girl, because I got a nice little sewing kit to get you. Uh... Gonta has my video. I know I shouldn't be worried about it, but I can't get it out of my head. Should I hang out with her? Yes, I should. Yeah. Sumigi and I shared another random conversation. <laughs> you like to give Sumigi a present? Yes, I will. Let's go ahead and give her that sewing kit that I saw. Because I think that is perfect for her. Let's give it to her. There we go. Hmm. What is this? You give this to me? Thank you. Thank you so much. Those are only the words I can say. Uh... You're weird, Chewie. What? Weird how? Uh... You wanted to hang out with this plain old me and when everyone else is so flashy. Mm. So, Miguel, you keep calling yourself plain, but I really don't think you are. No. No, I'm plain. I know it. So you don't have to worry about being polite. <laughs> I'm not just trying to be polite. Actually. Most people are surprised when they finally notice me. They're like, whoa, where did this girl with glasses come from? I wonder why glasses are always associated with plain kids. That's... Well, when you think about quiet and smart kids, you picture them in what? glasses. There's a bunch of athletic kids with glasses, though, like in sports animals. You can't! But the characters with glasses are never allowed to take them off. Not even once. It's like they say glasses are just like underwear. I've definitely never heard that uh, before. Wait, why were we talking about glasses again? You started it. Oh, right. We were talking about how I'm so plain. Uh, okay. Yes. I'll just tell you how plain I am. When I go into a crowded store, nobody notices I'm there. When I want to check out, I need to try really hard to get the clerk's attention. That's, That's not so bad. That's normal in crowded stores. It's happened to me. Seems like... When I go to theme parks with friends, I'm so plain they lose sight of me. Uh, That's um... not your fault either. Theme parks get pretty hectic. It's plain to see. And I always have a sewing kit and two plain white handkerchiefs on me. Mm. You consider that plain? I think it's a good thing to be prepared. Why is she making that face? It looks like she's bothered by something. Stop. I'm just letting you know, but my list of plainness doesn't end there. Once you hear the rest, you'll think, oh man, she's so plain. Why is she being so insistent with this? Why, why do you want to be a basic bitch? I don't get it. Why? Because your cosplay is so amazing that you want to be, you want to be basic because your cosplay is not? Is that it? I don't know. Right? First off, when the teacher's taking attendance in class, they'll skip me. So I'll make sure to get counted or I'll be marked absent. Doesn't that suck? It's plain to see. Then whenever people are splitting into teams, I get picked last because I'm plain. And then when I go into town on my day off, I get stuck behind people on the street who don't notice me because I'm plain. Then I go to a store and none of the clerks try to help me because I'm plain. Because I'm plain is quickly becoming your catchphrase to me. That reminds me. And it's not just the handkerchiefs. My underwear is white too because I'm plain. Underwear? Actually. Even if I get on the train without a ticket, nobody notices because I'm plain. Also, I can get into movie theaters without a ticket because I'm plain. Wait. But that's illegal. Cool. Just kidding, I bet I could do it though. I'm so plain, I have <laughs> I don't have much of a present. That's why I'm an international spy. Leave many undercover ops to me. Huh? A spy? Jeez. That was a joke too. I think that you'll fall for that one. Or did you just pretend to? Or are you more of a jerkster than I thought? No, it's not quite that. There could be a real spy among the ultimates here Shuichi. after all. Shuichi, be careful of cults and con artists. I'm worried you'll get taken in. Masumagi looks like she's having fun, so I guess it's alright. All right, so, so she basically just said a lot of stuff saying that she's a basic bitch. Got it. Oh, nighttime already. All right, let's see. Oh. It is now nighttime. This is official announcement is now so. 10 p.m. The late night special at the exclusive Monica Kitchen inside the dining hall is 
What is that? I'm whipping up a rice bowl with chicken, egg, mm. and spicy kimchi. It's only 1,000 calories. That sounds good. It's easy to make. Just cook fried chicken and eggs with rice. Top it with kimchi. Mm -hmm. Oh, and don't forget the mayo. Oh. Bon appetit. <laughs> By the that way, looks so good. this here is for monocubs only. We ain't sharing any with you. Wait, why show us? Y'all suck. Bam! How you like my culinary chaos? So Why are they gonna show me knowing I like food and saying they're not gonna share? That's just so selfish. I wouldn't eat that greasy food even if they threatened to kill me. But I would. Anyway, nighttime already, huh? When it gets to be nighttime, I start thinking about things. Was there really no way to save Kaede? I ask myself questions like that because no matter how I think about it, what happened to her is my fault. No, it's not. Oh. Hmm. Huh? Someone here? The doorbell's ringing. So who's at the door? Oh, Kaito. Yo. Hey, come hang out with me a sec. Huh? Huh? But now come it's nighttime. On, man. There's no rule about walking around at nighttime, right? Huh. I'll be waiting at the courtyard. Hmm. So what does he want to talk about? Wait. Wait. But Kaito wasn't listening. He turned and quickly walked away. Hmm. The courtyard at this time of night? What does he want? Could it be about the motive video I have? But how does he know? Wait, should I even go at all? Something might happen. Uh-oh. Is it a setup? Is he trying to kill me because I saw the video? How does he know I saw the video? I don't know. Hmm. I'm trying to figure it out. Why does Kaito want to talk to me all of a sudden? Oh, there he is. Okay. Hi. Yo. Oh, good. You uh, came. Uh, What's wrong, Kaito? Why did you call me out here all of a sudden? I mean... See, since I was chosen as an astronaut trainee, I've trained every day. But I haven't done any training here at all. At this rate, I'll get all week, so it. join me, Shuichi. Huh? Oh, why me? All right. Doesn't matter. Let's get started. Take off your coat. Wait. Clothes. Wait, why? Shut up. Instead of complaining, just do five... <laughs> I'm sorry. Fifty push-ups. Hmm. I don't know how it happened, but before I knew it, you was working out. Okay? Oh, Kaito, you look so hot. Okay, I was doing push-ups with Kaito in the courtyard in the middle of the night. <laughs> Why do I have to do this? Aww. Now's not the time to use your head. Now's the time to move your body. He's like, this is training. <laughs> I know he's not used to this. What's the matter? Slowing down already? I never do push-ups. I know you don't. My arms. <sighs> Are giving out. <laughs> hey, don't say that. The impossible is possible. All you gotta do is make it so. Hmm. What the? That logic makes no sense. <laughs> He's like, look, can we just get this over with? Somehow I managed 50 push ups. My body was spent. I collapsed on the grass panting. <laughs> Jeez, that's pathetic, man. I'm getting tired from only 50 push ups. Got it. Well, that's enough for now. We'll pick back up tomorrow. Huh? <laughs> We're doing this again tomorrow? Yeah, you gotta do daily training every day, right? right. Why well, I gotta do why well, I gotta do this, Kaito? I mean Because the training's for you. Huh? For me. <laughs> when I look at you, I can't help but get frustrated. I ask myself, is the one Kaide entrusted her wish to really this week? I mean You've been holding yourself back since then, haven't you? Do you think Kaide died because you made a wrong deduction? Do you think you killed uh, her? Okay. Yes, I do, Kaito. Because of my detective work, she set up that. Dumbass. What are you saying? That was all her fault. Listen up. Her sins and her regrets are hers alone. You only make her worry about you if you try to bear all those by yourself. I know. Damn it. I know that. I already know that. You don't have to tell me. But I can't help it, Kaito. I can't stop myself from thinking about what I could have done. It's no use. I'm scared. I try hard not to be, but I'm scared. I can't stop thinking about the pain and sadness that comes if I reveal the truth. That's what I'm afraid of. All right. All right, I got it. So that's your enemy, huh? huh? Enemy? I mean... Well, you gotta deal with your worries yourself. I can't give you an answer for those, but... But you know... At least you know you're weak. At least you can admit that. Jesus, Kaito! Let's do it. Then you'll be okay. You just gotta train and get huh? stronger, huh? Listen up. Listen up. Training is the only way to overcome your weakness. But, but in my case, getting stronger is more of a mental worry concept. About it. Your head and body are connected, right? At the end of the day, they're the same. What does that even mean? Is that not making any sense. But maybe that's exactly what I need right now. Uh, hmm. okay. All right, Kaito, I'll try. No. I mean, will you let me? I want to train with you, Kaito, to get closer to defeating my enemy. Well said. Well said, bro. But I'm strict, so you better prepare yourself. Bro, huh? That's the first time he's called me that. But... But perhaps you should be training too, Kaito. You talk big for a guy that only did 20 push-ups. What? What? You were counting? Jeez. Yep. Jeez, even you noticed that. I guess you are the ultimate detective but after you know. all. But you know, the goal was just 50 anyway, so it doesn't matter if I'm a few short. Well, that's not fair at all. Is that why I gotta do the full 50? <laughs> and thus, 
Kaido and I began our training regimen. I don't really know why Kaito is so concerned about me, but I suppose I could trust someone again. Just this time, I decided to trust Kaito. I decided to trust Kaito and his craziness. Well, I feel like Kaito's gonna be the next one to die. I'm so tired. I worked out for the first time in a long while. I'm completely exhausted, but it's a good kind of exhausted. Hmm. All right, for now, sleep. I didn't have any intrusive thoughts that night. As soon as my head hit the pillow, I fell into a deep, relaxing sleep. He knocked out. At the time, I didn't realize just how horrific it can be to trust someone in this place. All right, here we go. My body hurts. My muscles were still sore from working out, but because of that, I had a good night's sleep for the first time in a while. Perhaps even the first full night's sleep since I got here. So the soreness was nice All right. Play. All right, breakfast. Eating a good breakfast became part of my daily routine. Somebody's dead. Somebody, somebody gotta be dead. Cause it's going too good for him right now. Some, somebody gotta be off. Somebody gotta be murked in a corner somewhere. Somebody's head gotta be chopped off somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, Shuichi. Oh. Ryoma, are you headed to the dining hall? If I went there the way I am now, I'd just ruin the mood. Hmm. Hey. Listen, I can't even begin to imagine what your life has been like. And I know that this is going to sound cliche, okay. but you shouldn't give up on life. If you keep living, I'm sure good things will happen. <laughs> good things, huh? What? Good things are when your wishes, hopes, or dreams are fulfilled, right? What does that have to do with someone like me with no wishes, hopes, or dreams? Uh, um, but more importantly, more importantly, did something happen huh? to you? Huh? Sheesh. You haven't noticed? You look completely different from yesterday. <laughs> it's like your eyes have stopped focusing on the past. Your face looks more dependable. Hmm. Even he sees it. He sees the change. Ryoma's speech was low and melancholy. He turned and walked away. Okay. Stop focusing on the past. Mm. So he's saying that you look more confident, you know? Your head is up. It's not looking down anymore, you know? Okay, 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 Kaito's alive. Okay, good. Hmm. According to my calculations, not everyone has gathered I today. So. You can see that without doing any calculations. <laughs> Jeez, what's everyone else doing? It seems Maki has chosen to spend all her time inside her ultimate research lab. I'm not sure what she is doing in there, but she has no intention of leaving. What was that? What does the ultimate child caregiver got to do in her research lab anyway? Huh? Maybe she's hiding a bunch of kids in there that she's secretly taking care uh, of. Um, what? She's not some stray dog on the streets raising um, cubs. I also saw Kokichi and Gonsa sneaking around together. Uh, a couple of virgins sneaking around sounds like bad news to me. Hey. <laughs> oh, I saw Ryoma on my way here, but he said he wasn't coming today. Hmm. I see. Well, we don't need that guy around till he's got his head on straight. <laughs> How did the famous Ryoma Hoshi end up like that? What? The famous Ryoma Hoshi? Moving along. What are those two doing? What is that? Uh, what, uh, what are they doing? Um, y'all? What, what you doing? Um, what, what are you guys doing? Time. Praying to a two, of course. Mm. Praying to a two. <laughs> you too, I forgot. Mm. As long as I pray like this, I don't need to waste my energy on useless stuff. No matter what happens or what trouble lies ahead, my heart will be I'll commit that to my memory. I see. It's escapism. That's not right. No, she has merely abandoned reality to speak to Actually, a doer. That is escapism. Oh my. Really? I didn't know Shut that. Up, hey, me. Angie, when did you brainwash him again? <laughs> on the contrary, I've undone her brainwashing. Mm. I was brainwashed before, back when I didn't feel the presence of Atua. It seems it's too late. Himiko! <laughs> Himiko, please get a hold of yourself. You have to face reality. Please! Himiko! Himiko! Stop it. Stop it. When you interrupt me, it messes up my calm heart. I remember this nightmare reality I'm in. All my insecurities and loneliness, the pain that made me want to die. Hey. Sheesh, Tanko, don't interrupt Himiko when she's praying. Then smiling as always, Angie walked up to Himiko and what'd she do? Oh. Mm. Oh. Oh, that's I understand, so cute. Himiko. You're not actually scared. You're just sad, aren't you? Aww. You feel frustrated, anxious, and worried, but you have no one to confide in, do you? Aww. It's okay. You're not alone, Himiko. She's like, you have a Tua. <laughs> I know a handsome god who is keeping a watchful eye on you. Oh, my uh, goodness. A handsome god? Oh my gosh, oh my goodness. Ah. <laughs> and what a mysterious miracle. I'm not scared Thanks. anymore. Be too How wonderful. It's all thanks to that handsome god. Hey! Ha what? Handsome god? Wait, Himiko, you like handsome men? Why can't it be me? Yeah. Are you playing for the other team? Uh -huh. Right? She said, are you, are you, uh, you like women? <laughs> she might. What are you talking about? It's nothing like that. Hey, Angie, what did you do to Himiko? Huh? huh? What did I do? What a surprise. I did something. I did. What did I do? Yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, yes. Atua has spoken to me. I shall convey his message to everyone. Huh? Where's this conversation going? Anyway, what was Atua's message? It concerns me a little. Hmm. Angie, what are these divine messages? Uh... 
Atua says that this academy suffers from the same sense of the outside world. You're all unhappy because your greed is making you treat each other like adversaries. Atua, Atua has, has spoken. spoken. Your desire to leave this place is only worsening your greed. Uh, uh. Greed. Atua so we must so. cast aside that sinful greed and rejoice in our new lives here. So, you are saying we should live here for the rest of our lives. No, no. No, no, that's wrong. How do you it's mind? not enough to simply live here forever. Our lives must also be full of divine purpose. In other words, yes, we must make this academy heaven on earth. What? And then? In doing so, our desire to leave will vanish and the killings will cease. That's... Are you being serious because. right now? This place provides us all with shelter, food, clothing, and wonderful friends. What punished. more should you possibly desire? Do not give into your greed. What? What? Himiko! Himiko, do you hear this nonsense? Snap out of it! Yeah. At two divine messages are never wrong. Huh? What? Uh, yep. Himiko is a good girl and a fast learner. And then... Together we devise a truly divine plan. The best plan ever to help us live lives of fulfillment oh. here. The best plan? <laughs> Tell them, Himiko. Everyone! Tell them with bursts of happiness. <laughs> Explode with excitement, it's finally happening. Great, huh? The amazing Himiko's magic show is finally opening. Huh? A magic show? <laughs> Don't worry, admission is free. Actually, I guess admission will just be your smiles. Over the years, my show has given many smiles to people with broken hearts. Now is the time to demonstrate my power. My, my magic is the only thing that can heal your twisted heart. Mm. But in our current predicament, performing magic tricks is quite illogical. Stop it. Don't disturb my concentration. You gotta learn to read the mood already. And it's called a magic show because I do magic, not tricks. Screw your magic show. I don't get excited about Wait, that crap. Why? You're way too excited. How about that? that show of, of this tomorrow morning Come to the gym after the morning announcement. You guys better get excited and look forward to it with anticipation. Surely you mean anticipation. Or have I misunderstood the nature of the well, show? Well then. Himiko and I will begin the prep work and I'm supposed to ask others for help too. Bye, Yonara. I'm counting on you guys to help. Bye, Yonara. Well, farewell. Oh my goodness. So now we finally get a magic show. Finally we get to see some tricks. Not tricks. Magic. Okay. After announcing their show before anyone could react, Himiko and Angie left the dining room. Himiko? Himiko, what happened to her? Faith as intense as this can be quite terrifying. But there may be no cause for concern. This does not appear to be related to our motives. Come on, man. You're only worried about that? Worried. Of course, we cannot afford to take Monokuma's motives lightly. But, but everyone else who isn't here could be showing each other their videos, the right? Fuck you just you mean say? Kokichi, Gonta, and Ryoma? No. No, I didn't think that's it. Even with three people, there's a low probability of them having each other's motives. It seems unlikely that one of them would show a motive video without seeing their own in return. So I don't think a video exchange in a small group like that is likely. I see, that well is true. Done. Not bad, that's the ultimate detective uh, for you. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Aw, get his confidence up. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. The same goes for Angie and Himiko. Uh -huh. Give Himiko what back. For now, let us have some breakfast, shall we? I prepare meals for everyone. Of course, I will deliver meals to those who are not currently present. Uh. You, don't, you don't gotta do that. I'll eat their portion. Uh. Oh, are you really? <laughs> Kaito, don't push yourself too hard. After I help the stuffed Kaito to his room, I return to my own. <laughs> All right, now we got free time again. All right, let's talk to you. I don't think I had time with you yet. Your face looks more dependable. To not focus on the past in a place like this, I don't get it. Should I hang out with him? Yes. He seems very depressive. I don't know. <laughs> if I'm thinking like that, I still got a ways to go. So, I spent some time with Ryoma, who I accused last time. <laughs> I spent some time with Ryoma. Would you like to give Ryoma a present? Yes, I would. Okay, let's go ahead and give him something. I don't even know. No, I don't know what to give him. Yes, give him that. I don't know, maybe he might like it. Oh, you've got good yeah. taste. I hope I can return the favor, but I'm not great at giving gifts. Okay, right. so he likes it. Well, why did you come to talk to me? You probably just want to hear about how I took down that mafia, right? I would like to. Huh? What? That's not what I was playing at all. Yeah. Really? You've got a nosy looking face. Are you worried about whether or not I still care about tennis? For some reason, that's another thing busybody seems to care no. about. No, I really wasn't trying to. I just wanted to talk oh. to you, Ryoma. Is that so? You've still got so a I was the only one go. who was worried. Hmm, I still got a ways to well. go. Well, to be honest, I can't say that I have no interest in your ultimate talent. <laughs> well, that is honest. Aren't you a detective? Such honesty might be seen as foolish, you know? <laughs> I suppose that's true, yes. But out of respect for that honesty, I don't mind talking about tennis for a bit. Huh? Really? Yeah. That's what I said. Did you hear me? <laughs> now then, what should I talk about specifically? 
Ryoma looked downward in contemplation, yet his expression remained happy. It seems as though Ryoma hasn't lost his passion for tennis. He puts on an act like it's not a big deal, but clearly, he must really be struggling. Again? How about you tell me a little about your friends from the tennis club? My friends from tennis club. Hmm. Then... The one who sticks out the most is that huh? one guy. Who? Yeah. Our team captain. I do regret that I was never able to break his uh, zone. Um, his zone? Other words. A skill where he can stay in a single spot and continually return huh? up. Whoa, you can do that? Not me. Our captain was the one who would do that. I was called an ultimate, but compared to them, I still got a ways to go. There was also an upperclassman in the club who was considered a genius. He developed counter moves that only he could possibly pull off. He was always smiling, but you could never quite tell what he was thinking. Speaking of that, there was another upperclassman. He made us drink these weird drinks. They were so nasty, I thought I was gonna die. It was that bad, yeah. huh? He said they were made of vegetable juice, but anyone could tell they weren't normal. Hmm. I see, your school had some unique players. Oh? Yeah. I suppose. It certainly wasn't boring. But it's a place that I've got nothing to do with anymore. Uh, Rioma, what is with you? I was talking too much. You probably got bored listening. Sorry I wasted your time. See you. Okay. Okay? Oh. All right. My bad about earlier when I said you had a nosy little no. face. That's right. That's all right, Rioma. See ya. It doesn't bother me. Is that so? Well, see ya. Okay, well, damn. He's still so ominous. Like, still. Jeez. Open up a little bit, Rioma. My God. Oh? Who's at the door? Who's at the door? I guess that's Kaito, but is he here to train already? Weren't we supposed to train at night? It's a little early. Okay, so... Then the moment I open the door... Kaito. Oh! Shuichi, run! Huh? What? What happened? Yeah. Don't just stand here! He's hurrying! He's what coming! Happened? Who's coming? What? Who's coming? Kaito risked a glance down the hallway and immediately stiffed up <laughs> in fear. Damn it, he's already here. Hurry, Shuichi, run! Shuichi! If we both make it out of this alive, let's train again. What? Who is coming, Kaito? Uh. Kaito! Kaito gave his ominous warning and ran away at lightning huh? speed. Who are you talking about? I peeked through the gap in the doorway to discover that what Kaito was so terrified by. Ooh! Ooh, who pissed him off? That's Gosa, isn't it? He looks different. What's going on? Oh, it looks like he's checking each room. He'll be at my door I don't soon. know what he's up to. I don't, oh. It's probably better not to be here. Oh my god. He... Somebody stepped on his bugs. Careful to avoid alerting Gonsa, I quietly tiptoed down the hall. I stealthily made my way to the courtyard. Uh-oh. Gonsa... Man. Kokichi, Kokichi stepped on a bug. I bet he did. What was all that about? What was Gonsa up to? Yeah. From the looks of it, you ran away from Gonsa oh. too. <laughs> Ryoma... Now? I don't know why, but it seems like he's gone into a rage and is trying to catch everyone. He was charging right at me at top huh? speed. He threw himself right at you, but you managed to get away? That's amazing. Yeah, yeah I used the Shokichi method, a technique from my tennis days, like a flash step, you know? Of course, I've gotten rusty since back in the day, You've but still got Gonta ways still to got go. a ways to go. He won't be able to catch me like that. Shukichi. Hmm. Shukuchi. I've been saying Shukichi, Shukuchi. Sounds so wrong. Okay. Ryoma must have been an incredible player back in the day. By the way, By the way I'm sorry for saying something so uncool like I've got no huh? reason to live. No, you don't have to apologize. I'm going to say this so we're clear. I'm not so stupid that I waste my life. I only said something like that because I was jealous. Why? Jealous? Yeah. If I had a stronger attachment to life, I could try my best alongside you all. Mm hmm? Hmm? Suddenly, Ryoma ducked down, taking cover. Oh, oh, when I looked to see what Ryoma was scared of, I saw. Oh my there god. You are. Hey, where are you going? Look, bro, you need to back up, okay? We didn't do nothing. We didn't step on your bugs, huh? okay? Gota? Sorry, Shuichi. But I'm gonna run. Uh -huh. I've still got things I need to do. He's like, I'm no. trying to live. Gonta no can let you leave. Ooh. Sorry, but it's for your own good. Uh oh. Gonta charge at us like a runaway train and then. Oh! I lost consciousness. Oh my. Why did you move? Why didn't you move? I didn't even feel the impact, didn't have time to scream. My world turned dark. And in this pitch black world, I thought to myself, this is what it's like to die. <laughs> I can't die yet. Oh my God. Why didn't he move? Oh my goodness. Oh Morning, hell Morning, no. sleepy head. Oh my God. You're finally up, Shuichi. You are the worst face to wake up to. You are. Good Lord. Huh? What? Right. <laughs> are you gonna ask? Who am I? And 
Where am I? No, I'm gonna ask you to take a tic tac, okay? Because I'm pretty sure your breath is kicking. Well, sure. you're definitely Shuichi Saihara. Mm. And this place is, mm, I guess, hell. Oh my god. Hell? Get out of my face. I shook my head confused. I looked around. Hmm. Oh lord, is this. Oh my god. Why are we here? Oh, you're awake? This is the ultimate entomologist research huh? lab. The ultimate. Yeah, but I'm not gonna say it again. <laughs> oh. I remember I was attacked by Gonsa, and then the same is true for the rest of us. We were all seized by Gonsa and brought um, here. But Shuichi is the only one who got knocked out. Way. Gonsa apologized for that. Apparently, he couldn't slow down in time when he tried to Why? grab you. What is this anyway? Why did Gonsa oh, do this? My. It's because of that guy. He was provoked by that hulk, Kokichi. My eyes follow where Sunugi was pointing. <laughs> There's no use trying to escape. Gonsa will just catch you again. So, what's up? No. Is this your doing, Kokichi? Did you have gone to kidnap us? <laughs> He's so simple-minded. Um... As soon as I told him that everyone who hates bugs was trying to get rid of them, he started crying and said that he would get you guys to love bugs or something so like that. So that means... And that's why we're all here. Welcome to the mandatory insect meet and greet. Oh, Gonsa thought you, thought up the name. So if you don't like it, voice your complaints to him. terrible. You're terrible. You trick Gonsa. Right? Isn't it great? Only an evil supreme leader like me can do something so evil. But I like playing on mean difficulty. Also, I don't run from battles in RPGs either. I want to win this killing game, so I'm not going to run from it. I'm going to crush it. How exciting. That'll be way less boring, don't you think? Huh? What the hell does that mean? See? I tried to warn you guys. I told you that we shouldn't cooperate with each other. <laughs> Plus, if I'm gonna do this, then I gotta enjoy myself and just go all the way. If the thought of playing a death game doesn't excite you, you'll never win, understand? Strangely, I could detect no evil in his smile as he said that. It was an innocent smile, like a frockling, frolicking trial. Although, perhaps, it's just another lie. Maybe. It might be. Hey! Thank you for waiting. Go until bring Himiko and what? Angie. Huh? Himiko and Angie, too? Aww. Oh man, I was just about to take a break, too. I just finished all the paper mm -hmm. prep work. What's the meaning Himiko. of this? Himiko, are you okay? My saliva makes injuries heal faster. Okay, does she have a, does she have a crush on um on Himiko? Does she have a crush on her? <laughs> does your face hurt? Do you want me to spit on your face to make it feel Stop better? It. Hey. No. Hey, Gonzo, are these the only ones you brought back from the gym? Mm -hmm. Oh, cure me at the gym, but she tell Gonzo she's too mm -hmm. busy. Hmm, and you just let her go? Atua, Atua okay. says Kirimi fulfills any request someone makes of her, like a mommy. Hey. Ah, uh, she's not a mom though. Wait, what request? Uh, I requested that she sew the curtains. I don't think even Gonta can disturb her. Sorry. S sorry, not even Gonta is strong enough to overcome mm. Kirimi. Well, I guess at least one of you is worthy of being called an ultimate. By the way. Well, nothing we can do about her. Are the others still hiding um, somewhere? Oh, Gonta see Mew, but Gonta's face get red hot, so Gonta no could break her. Mm -hmm. Your face got hot. You mean you were hot? on her trail, yeah. right? No, um, she used her, what she call it? Secret woman weapon. What? 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 Anyway, this is enough people, right? Insect meet and greet is off to smashing start. Maybe. Yeah, sure, this is good enough. We should move on to the main you event can. anyway. Gonta, don't be deceived. He just used you to abduct us uh -huh. all. Really? No, uh -huh. no, this is for the insect meet and greet. I like bugs even more than you do, uh -huh. Gonta. Oh, more than Gonta, amazing. You like bugs that much? Oh, it would appear further argument is a useless endeavor. <laughs> now, Gonta, go ahead and teach them just how youthful, how wonderful bugs are. I gotta run an errand, but I'll be back. Don't let, oh man, you bitch. Then he's gonna leave. Then he's gonna leave. My God. All right. If they try to leave, it means you gotta really show them why bugs are so mm. great. Hmm, got it. Could it be? Wait, you're leaving? Yeah. Of course, someone's gotta break into your rooms to get the goods. <laughs> Lock picking is a cinch for an evil supreme leader like what? me. Wait, you're going to enter a girl's room without permission? Oh it seems I must be the one to take care of this. With my talent for I so will stop. Dumb. Yeah, yeah, I have time. I don't have time to listen to some um, robot. Let's see, it's exactly 9 p.m. right now. I should be back by nighttime. Well, have fun with the bugs till then. Hmm, what you doing? Kokichi then left the classroom. <laughs> It appears we are caught in Kokichi's trap. What should we do? What should we do? At this rate, it'll end up as a motive video screaming party. My Neo Akito is no match for Gonsa's superhuman strength. Everyone! We still have a chance when Kokichi comes back. That's when I will take care of this. Everyone, please just endure it until huh? then. Endure it? Everyone, play okay, nice! Now we start the fun, fun insect meet and greet. Oh my god. Oh lord. When I had first woken up, Kokichi told me this was hell. It appears that was not a lie. <laughs> Oh my god, the incredible specimens each gave off the appearance of vigor and vitality, and they were exactly as vigorous as they looked. With our escape route blocked off, all we could do was run around the room in a panic. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
The nighttime announcement played, but it didn't save us. <laughs> oh my god, the insect man and Greek continue without What mercy. happened, Kokichi? You said you'd be back by nighttime. He lied. Uh, oh no! Himiko is being buried alive by insects! Oh my goodness! Himiko, hold on! The girl, more you get yell, girl. the more bugs can get into your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, when our bodies are completely exhausted and sleep is nearly upon us. Lord. They got they got trapped good. He finally came back. You bitch. Whoa. There are bugs everywhere. How net how I mean how oh. nice. How you came back, Okichi. Come, we have Everyone fun. We're nice. gonna have so much fun. Mm. You know, it's not just like love to do that. Maybe we should call it a day, huh? See? The bugs look really tired and the gentleman knows to do things in moderation, You're you right. know. Right. Going to understand. So you clean up while I take care of business with the others. Kokichi's hands are full of several cubs pads. Uh-oh. Did he look at them already? You guys okay? You all look like drowned sewer rats. Cause you're late. You said you'd be back by nighttime and it's already 11 p.m. Okay. now. Sorry, I ran into an unexpected snafu. But, but look, <laughs> cubs pads, gotta catch them all. I even got the cubs pads belonging to the people who aren't here. <laughs> now everyone can watch their motive oh video. We said we don't want How to. Exciting. Well, it's late and I'm getting sleepy, so let's start hey. already. Start oh, what? No. Oh, don't worry about it, Gonsa. Just keep watch so these guys- That's know. enough. That's it, I won't let you do as you mm -hmm. please. Hmm? I, uh, I didn't want to use this unless I absolutely had to. Eat yourself a lot of my electricity. But that's it. neither here nor there. I will stop you right here, huh? right now. Kiba, what are you gonna do? Oh, oh. Still glaring at Kokichi, Kibo slowly reached a hand behind his ear. What's he doing? What's he doing? And spun the mechanical parts He's there. Lighting up. Oh. Is he gonna self-destruct or? Right. Huh? What's that sound? What's he gonna One do? One moment, please. I'm rewinding the tape right now. Oh. The tape? The tape. Right there. Oh. Kibo shouted out and pushed his palm against his ear. That's Is when. Is this your doing, Kokichi? Did you have Gonta kidnap us? Hmm? Was that my voice? <laughs> He's so simple-minded. Mm. As soon as I told him that everyone who hates bugs was trying to get rid of them, he mm. started crying and said <gasps> that he would get you guys to love bugs. Or something like that. Ooh. Could this be? Oh, he's going to make Gonta mad now. Uh-oh. How about this? So what do you think? You just saw my audio recording function for the first what? time. Did he really just whip out an audio recorder like it's some kind of secret Actually, weapon? Really? It's a cassette tape in this day and age? But it's metal tape, you know? Wait, the sound quality isn't the issue. Well, let's just put that aside now. More importantly, it seems to have worked. Kokichi, what you mean you not like bugs? Oh, Man, no. now it's good. Was it lying? When you say we get them to understand how amazing bugs are, was that lie? <laughs> I wouldn't lie to you. I love bugs. From the bottom line, All right. Heart. Oh, so it's not a lie. They're going to happy. Let's have fun with bugs all night. Going to her. You are so gullible. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, bugs! Who wanted to pet more bugs? Huh? Huh? Everyone. We must run while we still can. Wait, we need to get back our cup pads first. Tenko snatched the cup pads from Kukichi. Aw. Then we all ran out of the lab. Leave his ass there. Leave him there. After leaving the room, I could still hear the muffled buzzing and Kukichi screaming. Hmm. We might be corpses by tomorrow it's morning. To see. Don't joke about that. What if it happens? It's just plain um, impossible. So how do we return these cubs pads back to their rifle? Jeez. I, if only them Ghana cubs were here, I'm sure they'd help us. Are they coming now? There goes one. Okay. Hmm. Oh, it's just it's you. Fine. The others are asleep. If you need something, I can help uh, you. Um, um, it's about the cubs pads. Kokichi brought them to us. Okay. I simply need to return them. I will return each one to your respective rooms, you bastards. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, and then insulted. Ugh. He left. Well, that was abrupt. But out of all of them, we can probably trust that one, right? Well then. Shall we go back to our dorms? It is well past night. <laughs> That's true. We have the magic show You're tomorrow. Right. Because of all this, we couldn't do a rehearsal, but I'm sure it'll be a divine yeah. show. We'll be waiting for you to come watch. <laughs> We'll be waiting, she says. This is Himiko's show, not yours. Uh, I suppose it's all right. She has the crush on Himiko. <laughs> I just remembered, I wasn't able to train with Kaito today. Ah, uh, too bad. We can do it tomorrow night, though. It's not like I'll never see him again or anything. Don't say that, Shuichi. Don't say that. Worn out from all the commotion, we dragged ourselves back to our rooms. Koki, like, he might actually hmm. be dead. Like, Kaito might actually be dead. I don't know. It's close to midnight now. Tomorrow's a busy day. I should get some sleep. I collapsed onto the bed and quickly fell asleep. All right, it's the next day. 
who's gonna be dead this morning? Somebody's gonna be dead. Somebody's gonna be dead. Rising sun. It is now 8 a.m. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Ah. He left. Monosuke is so impatient. He's been cranky lately, so it's making him impatient. I don't like impatient men. I want to get along with Monosuke. All right. <laughs> it's a little early, but I'll go ahead and do the nighttime and announcement that's too. That. It'll be 10 p.m. later. <laughs> so long. Farewell. He's like, let's get this going, okay? <laughs> Today is the day of Himiko's magic show, but the insect fiasco yesterday, and now this? Do we really have time to be doing this stuff? Well, well I suppose I shouldn't think about it so much. I'll just go to the gym for now. Somebody's dead. Somebody's dead in that gym. Somebody's dead in the magic show. It's gonna be a magic trick and the reveal is gonna be a dead body. Watch. Whoa, this is even nicer than I thought it'd be. Okay, I don't yeah. see Kaito, so he might be dead. Welcome to our magic show. What do you think? Isn't it divine? Okay. Yeah, it is. I didn't think you would have a real stage set up. Did you and Himiko do all no, this? No, no. No, This would have been impossible with just two people. I got others to help us. Kaito and Kibo helped carry equipment from Himiko's research lab. I designed the stage, but Kirimi sold the credit. Thanks. Too Everyone too. is so nice. Atua deserves all the credit. No. Shouldn't everyone who worked on it get the credit? Oh. oh, well, I didn't ask you to help because I didn't know what you'd be useful for. Damn, and That's... Did you really have to say that? I don't know, I don't anyway, know. Anyway, just sit tight. Once we're done preparing, we'll start right away. Done preparing? You're not ready yet? Uh, yep. The star of the show needs to settle her nerves. The star of the show requires mental preparation. <laughs> Aw, she's nervous. <laughs> okay, so let's talk to her then. Could it be? Himika, are you a bit nervous? <laughs> just a little bit. It certainly doesn't look like just a little bit. Because the magic I'll be performing today is the Extreme Water Magic Underwater Escape Act. I'll never successfully cast it before. It's pretty difficult, so I'm a little nervous. You've never cast it before? And today, in order to raise the stakes, who is in there? There's a time limit. If I don't escape from the tank within the time limit, piranhas will be drunk, drunk in? I'll be pureed? Pureed? This is looking like a little dangerous. The water is cloudy, so I can't see very clearly, but I do see fish swimming around. Those are all piranhas, huh? They don't look like normal piranhas. Those piranhas were in my research lab. Angie said we should use them for the uh, show. No. Wait, piranhas are way too dangerous. Oh. Tango. Himiko. Himiko, please reconsider. They're piranhas. They're nothing like lasagna. Oh, my magic. No need to worry. I'll instantly kill all the piranhas with my magic. Huh? You're going to kill them? I thought this was an escape trick. Um, Himiko, are you serious? She's still worried about her baby. <laughs> there's no way I can stop now. Since the Tua's watching the show, no! there's no such thing as Tua. Angie has brainwashed what you. Is that? You don't believe in my magic? No. Well, I can do it. I'm a skilled young girl, because I'm a mage. OK, she psyched herself up and headed straight to the water tank. Aw, <laughs> of course I believe in your magic. You're my precious friend. Aw, Tenko. Tenko really cares about Himiko. Somebody gonna die, man. Ready, Himiko? Did you say your prayers and use the bathroom? Uh, I said my prayers and went pee. Yeah. <laughs> then let's get the show started. Oh my god. It's starting already, but not everyone's in here yet. Maki, Kokichi, Ryoma, and Kaito aren't here. What happened to Kaito? I thought he'd be here for sure. I wonder if something happened. He might be He might be dead. He might be dead. He might be dead. He is dead. I'm, I'm already accepting him on mine. He's dead. Okay. Thank you, Atua, for being with us today. Oh my god. Boo! Boo! You're supposed to thank us first! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I goodness. present to you the mysterious, the miraculous, the amazing Himiko! I feel like something bad is gonna happen. <laughs> the, the, the magic I will perform today Aww. is the extreme water magic. She sounds so cute. Uh, underwater. Escape back. If you would please <laughs> turn your attention to the water tank in front of you. Okay. When the timer above the stage starts, Himiko will enter the water tank. Oh my god. Once she's in the tank, her assistant, me, will draw the curtain in front of the tank. Oh my After goodness. 60 seconds have passed on the timer, a separate suspended tank will open and drop in a school of piranhas. Oh my goodness. Oh After my god. The piranhas have fallen. And the curtain is open. She will be dead. If by some miracle Himiko has been gobbled up, please give a big round of applause. What do you mean, give a round of applause if she's Just dead? Just okay. Girl. It's a joke. Oh my god. She. Somebody's gonna die here. Are you feeling alright? I'm concerned about Himiko. She is not responding properly to Angie's jokes. Mm. Going to worry. Going to have bad feeling. <laughs> Atua, please protect Himi. No! Wait, what am I doing praying to Atua? That's Angie's uh. stick. Well, 
Well, I guess you could pray to some other god. I, somebody's gonna die. Well then, let's begin. The amazing Himiko's magic show. Oh my gosh, she so, sounds so unenthusiastic. <laughs> In her typical high-pitched voice, Himiko made her announcement and started the timer. Then she took a breath and dove into the water tank. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm closing the curtain. Oh my god. Angie closed the curtains, obscuring the water tank from view. We stared silently, waiting. I clenched my fist nervously, my palms damp with sweat. Himiko is still Himiko's not out. Oh my god. She went in mere moments ago. Mm. Uh-oh. Well, do you think she's all right? Uh-oh. Uh, Gonta's starting to worry. Should we do something? Mm. She, she still hasn't come she's, out. Somebody's dead. Are you sure she's okay? Somebody's dead, yo. Somebody's Gonta dead. Gonta can't take it anymore. Somebody's dead. Gonta cried out, leaped out of the seat, and... Gonta? Oh? Ran up... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he's on the stage. Oh, oh, you can do that? We're still in the middle of the show. Oh, my oh, God. If Gonta does nothing... Piranhas will eat Himiko! Mm. Huh? Um, less than 10 seconds remain. Right. I don't care if it ruins the trick. Just come out! This dress is bad for my heart. Oh my Himiko! goodness. Himiko! And Tenko wants her out. Right when the timer hit zero, the buzzer went off. It says death, and then... Oh no! The bottom of the suspended tank swung open in a murky water and shadowy shapes inside fell straight into the water tank Himiko was swimming in. Huh? Huh? Oh my god, it's not your fault, Gonta. It's not your fault, Gonta. <laughs> Hurry! The Ooh. curtains! Open the curtains already! Oh my Gaku. god! I'm opening it now! She's not even worried. Angie's like, it's all part of the show. <laughs> when Angie pulled apart the curtains, we witnessed an unbelievable sight. trying to process it. Perhaps we didn't want to acknowledge it. What? Great, huh? Behold, the magnificent underwater girl. Look, look turn around. Oh my huh? god. Oh my god. A body has been discovered. Everyone, hmm. please gather in the gym. How, how did this happen? How did this happen? Yeah. A body in the gym? Then Himiko turned to look back at the water tank. Hmm? Yes. Yes, Himiko. Somebody died. All right, y'all. So that is it for today's episode. Ryoma is dead now. I already knew somebody was going to die. I already knew somebody was going to die, like, when the curtains opened. But I didn't know it was going to be Ryoma in the tank. And how the fuck did she get out? How, how, did, how did Himiko get out and not see that? Who put him in the tank? Or was he, was he already with the fish? Something's telling me, okay, something is telling me that Ryoma was in, he must, something's telling me that Ryoma must have been in the box with the piranhas. And once it dropped in, he dropped in with the piranhas as well, but the piranhas couldn't eat his ass because they were tightly squeezed in. They couldn't move. So there was no way for them to possibly get Ryoma in there, maybe. And then when they finally got into the large tank where they had space, they were able to eat his ass. So somebody that set up this magic trick killed Ryoma. My mind is pointing towards Kaito doing it. Because he was saying that, you know, he that Ryoma was saying he didn't have a reason to live and stuff like that. And Kaito didn't like it. Or it might have been Kirimi. Cause she sets up, she was she was setting up stuff. 
and she sewed the curtains. I don't know. I'm looking at everybody that, I'm looking at everybody that set up this whole thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. It was a long one, <laughs> but I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll see y'all with another episode of this. So deuces.